Okay, uh, where we last left off, you guys just escaped the planet. <laughs> Avoided getting destroyed by the mothership. You guys solved the puzzle and recovered artifacts. Um, as it stands, you guys are still on the ship observing this enemy space marine force sending down drop pods onto the surface. I'm assuming you guys already would have left and gone to the Inquisition fleet. Yeah, so how much information did we gain by observing since we were uh, approaching So what questions do you want to ask? We were approaching, approach. yeah. We didn't approach. They, okay. they, they warped in as you guys are in orbit. And yeah, so, going. and like, oh. and then we tried to kind of stealthily just... Oh, go to yeah, that's them. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stealthily approach, that's right. <laughs> So what information are you trying to glean? Uh, markings, like maybe we can see any of the... Oh, inner... you've confirmed, you confirmed the, the, the Ebon Drakes. Okay, so Marine. the Renegade Space Marines, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's confirmed, and that's confirmed to be the trade the trader vessel that would be in your guys' uh, mission debriefing, what it looks like and everything. Rogue Trader's vessel, all right. Which is a... Um, Modified, like, uh, what's it? Modified cruiser of some kind. Old cruiser. I will say this. Uh, since they are dropping their forces on the planet, that means they have less troops on their ships. Which means it's like one of the better times to strike at them. Yeah, but we got people them. missing arms and hands here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm just letting that out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. But... Oh yeah, it's it's for sure an opportune time to strike. If we had a fully armed, eh, force. Uh, uh. Ain't, ain't that right, James? What? Ain't that right? Fully armed force. Get it? That's right. I'm going to report that to the Inquisitor. <clears throat> Spare. I'll kill myself right now. <laughs> not the bulk. <laughs> Who are you trying to talk to? N nobody. Uh, okay. So uh, we are then just uh, looking at them and uh, returning to our ship, uh, returning to our base of operation back to the Inquisitor. Right. You guys need to do it stealthily because. Yep, we're captain. doing it as stealthily as possible to not get uh, seen. Yep. Do you want to have any modifiers to add to the ship as I do things? I have um, stealth modifiers, but not ship stealth modifiers. I have piloting. I can pilot a ship, if need be. I will cast Shield of Possibility on the pilot. Ooh. So, whatever roll they get, I will add 10. Correct. Uh, or provided I can just add I 10 myself. A, provided yeah. I don't summon, like, you know, a Chaos Demon or something. Okay. All right. All good. Um, so you guys, I am gonna add a ten to that. Oh the, my god. Well, the 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 helmsman, James, you're gonna be the helmsman. This the derpy ass space marine trying to take over your mighty vessel. I want you to role play with him, and explain why he shouldn't be flying. I don't even know why I should be flying. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's the idiot guardsman. You're right. That's he makes perfect. a great point. I'm gonna I'm gonna steer away now. <laughs> there you go, James. You helped him out. There. See. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm <laughs> so, with the aid of the pilot, uh, what's your pilot's name, James? Um, we'll call him Derpy Der. Derpy Der? With the help of Derpy Der, you guys steer the vessel <laughs> out of harm's way and back to Allied, Allied space. I've Damn. never seen a better pilot in my life. Excellent flying, Mr. Eater. You got the correct one, James. They're talking to you. Fearlo rolls his eyes behind his helmet, but nobody can see it because he's wearing a helmet. <laughs> 
Yeah. So what is what, what is your response to all this? Um, I have no idea what my response to any of this is. To be honest. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's the pilot says. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what my response is to anything is what the pilot utters as he's helping. Uh, <laughs> uh, clearly, if Arnos. there's clearly if there's statuses on this thing, though the intelligence that this pilot is definitely one. I don't even know why I'm piloting myself. Right? That was his first interaction with uh, Karnoth there. <laughs> As he, you go to help him. Yeah, he he just he just steers. He kind of like looks at he looks at the pilot like like let me take over and uh, he just uh, steers the ship away. Right, yep. and as he steers the ship away, though, he makes sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> uh. there's there's zero reaction from Karnov. He just is focused on steering. <laughs> <laughs> Either he's ignoring it or just not hearing what's still going on. <laughs> Our lives are in the hands of worst. Also, Karnov, it's amazing you're able to pilot with only one arm. Yep. I'm amazed myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he needs the help of the, spa the the pilot there. So with the help of the pilot, they're able to steal the ship out of danger. And as the pilot's going near, as you guys are flying. <laughs> near and we, we, we just gave like a like a, a dud controller to the pilot. It's like not even connected to anything. It's just a steering wheel that's like just there in the air. It's not even connected to the ship itself. Uh, well, the captain informs you that's the best pot uh, in the fleet. <laughs> and it, it's brightly well, colored. It has... It's brightly colored and has some markings of Fisher Price <laughs> on it. No. He's like, yeah, the captain informs you he may be an idiot, but he's by golly the best pot he's ever seen. Then you have a weak <laughs> force. <laughs> Alright, so we steer away. Um, okay. You guys are out of danger. You guys are near the Allied fleet. Oh. And we head towards the Inquisitor's base. He's not at a base. He's a, he. They're on a mobile ship. They have one base, and they have not disclosed that information to where it's at. So. Uh, where didn't we land on a planet? Then you no. did initially. You initially did. You found the old Inquisition base that was overrun by the Xenos forces. Yes. Yes. And then we met him. In, in orbit space. over another planet. In orbit, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's mobile. Like his his attack force is mobile. They have one remaining base, and he's not oh. disclosed that he's not disclosed to you or anyone where that base is at. Mm -hmm. uh, then we go to the previous known location where we met him. Maybe we can. No, no. He gave you. Know, no. He already had communications with uh, Moss character. Moss is yeah, not yeah. here, but oh. they did they... the coordinates. Yeah, yeah. Right. so so you see you see on the screen, do you see those ships? Yep. Yep, you see about seven ships, or what, six ships, I can't count. Uh, six, yep. Yep. <clears throat> and they're at the All rendezvous right. where you requested them. Alright, I, uh, I hail them, um, I let them know uh, we have... Well, you're not, oh. you're not, you're not hailing ah, them. You're sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'll let do that. Yes, I like, I just, uh, but in their stead, they're going to the fleet. They're yeah. going to have the commsman interact with uh, the fleet. So James, take it away. You are now the commsman on the ship. Oh God. So, yes. yep. So you're hailing them. So go ahead. All right. Um, what? What's the name geez. of the launch vessel? The Don, the Don Wraith. Donrath? Right. Yeah. Sounds right. Don, yep, Donrath. So James, you're sure <coughs> Don Donrath. Yeah. So Don Rath. go ahead. Yeah. Start start your communique. Um, this is the Donrath, all Haley. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh yeah, this isn't fucking no. Uh <laughs> Man, what, a, what an intricate <laughs> call and response system they have going on. <laughs> One would have never have guessed that that would have been the proper code phrasing. Yeah, we see you on screen. Go ahead, approach. What, me? <laughs> Do you want me to be... Yes. I'm going to be like, hello, all. Keep the comms clear. 
is all you hear back in utterance. Approach. Not only is the pilot an idiot, but so is the comms operator. It's just our luck. We are really at the bottom of the barrel for our, <laughs> our resistance force, aren't we? <laughs> we'll have to make do with something with what we have. What's you sad, got though, is that this is the ship that we got when we beginning. had a full crew of competent people. What happened to those competent individuals? Are you on board the vessel witnessing all this, by the way, Yelmug? Well, yeah, we're on the Don's Wrath. Yeah, so you're very witness to all the all the interest in see. Well, but uh, Karnoth, you're probably going to be in medical bay or getting healed up. And same uh, with Tesseract. Well, how? Okay, so question is like, how long is it going to take for uh, the ship to get to this position? And like, it how... takes it takes you guys less than a day to get to that position. You guys are in the same solar system, so it doesn't take you that long to get there. About a day, uh, all right. So, uh, and like the second pilot. Uh, just keeps the course steady, and I just go to the medical. He's thing. acting. He, yeah, the pilot, James's pilot, is acting as your mm -hmm. left, your left arm, mm -hmm. or the arm, your arm you lost. Wait, mm -hmm. so he's arm. actually yeah. attached himself to you, and you're no, using the he did not. Yeah, with, with a tape, yep. You just like no, yep. no, 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 together. He, he's doing he's, the thing where he's standing behind you and then putting his left arm around you. Oh as yeah, murder you your left arm. <laughs> yeah, and like, it, it, if you strike the the hand with a hammer, I will feel the pain. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a really big uh, guardsman. Then. <laughs> it's an auger in. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, but it's just a normal guy acting on your behalf on your left hand side and correcting you when you need correction. All right. Yeah. No, that that makes sense. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, I steer away from the most dangerous part, and then I just go to the medic bay and uh, I heal up what I can in that mean in that time. Um, uh, yeah. In the meantime, I have a question. What like in that same day would um, our dreadnought, um, what's his name? I forgot. Neo Tyson have enough time to craft a bionic arm. Hold up, I'm telling you how long. Not in a day. That's gonna it's gonna be this. Oh crap. Okay, so that's how many days it's going to take you to get a bionic arm crafted. What if right. we already have a bionic arm? We just need to attach it. Uh, do we? I don't no. know. Nope. Nope. Okay. You have to no. craft it. You have a lot of human-sized bionic limbs, but no space marines, so this is going to be custom-built. Uh, and then the hands... Let's see... Well, on the positive side, it's going to take a while for the artifacts to be identified. Yep, it's going to take seven days to be identified. Uh, so they they take uh, Vesora's character does all the inquisitional things they need to do with trans transferring artifacts from one location to another. So you guys don't even know of it. You guys know that you docked the <coughs> Inquisition ship. They did something. That's all you know of. So beyond that, your characters don't know. And the no. artifacts are gone now. Artifacts are no longer in your guys' possession. Okay. <clears throat> so in that case, I uh, try to uh, heal up. Yep. Uh, and then James, you're gonna act as I want to do this. James, you're gonna act as a uh, lieutenant now on mm -hmm. board the Dawn Ray, Ray, uh, Ray class. <clears throat> that was, and your character was helping transport. The artifacts from one location to another. Brasor is off on the main ship doing the other things. Uh, the officers on board the vessel approach you and hand you a, a data pad that says, I, we need you to give this to Eric, ladies. Okay. I will stash it and um, I guess I'll try to find that guy. Eric Lady is the unlucked character, Space Marine. Can't miss him. Okay, then I'll approach him and hand him the uh, the disc that was given to me. A data pad. What's this? So on the data pad, you see those targets that you were guys were found last time with the the installation. Um, they've kind of narrowed down where they think possibly that the shields defending the main station are at, of the base. They narrowed down two possibilities. 
So there you go. Hmm. One was that base that Tesseract almost got insta popped on. Which one was that? The the base where you almost got insta popped with the shields. Oh, the that. Shields, but they almost killed yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And then another one is the there's a giant field of ships they found, right? And it looks like some sort of entrance that their scouts have discovered. So they're doing they were doing this in, in conjunction with your forces. As you guys were scouting, they were doing the same. Mm -hmm. Just you guys were unaware. Of it, so. Fairly big, fairly big moon, so. Pew 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 Right now, all you're gonna get is a simple pew, ten pew. pile. Yeah, that's what we wanted. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, glad I could be entertaining. Oh, okay, you're re you're recorded, so you can see it next time, James. Oh Unreal. lord. So, <laughs> if you were to play James, what character you want to be go as? You don't need to hang with us the whole campaign, but you could be a cameo character. I don't know. I'd probably be security, a soldier, or something. I don't know. Tommy Shark. Shark. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do that. We had a guardsman squad. All right. Peace out, James. Go have fun. All right. Adios. Have a good Sunday, gentlemen. Thank Peace. you. Later. Remember, don't go too hard on Derpy Der. If he's still there. <laughs> Derpy Der. He'll still be there. We'll make sure he still is alive. Okay. Let me go add. Let me go add. Let me go add that character as a pilot now. <laughs> oh, we make Have we make no day, promises that he'll like stay alive. <laughs> All right, later. I admit to kill Derpy Der. Do you, do you really? No. I turn oh, okay. around. I start hunting for Derpy Der. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no. Um. Uh. So in the, how much downtime do we have? before we're uh, uh, inevitably summoned to do something. You guys are basically on your own, other than you're inter inter interfacing with the Inquisition forces. Um, they're just giving you intel and then move, scooting along as as needed. So they thank you for the artifacts and uh, <clears throat> also Yelmug, they tell you uh, they'll have some new tech for you guys within a week to help uh, fight these kids off, which is the tech we spoke of. Well, good, because we got to wait two weeks for this one to get an arm back. Yeah, uh, yeah, so... We still wait for this one to get his hands back. Yeah, so we can just wait for about uh, a week uh, first, just to see what the artifacts are and then start applying yep. them. And there's the refresher from last time. Yeah, weren't there in the Discord channel? Yeah, the, the watch. Yeah. I already put it. Psionic uh, amplification chambers. And it looks like you also put in a nanite amplification device. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in forms of grenades. And a destruction build generator. So they're going to give you... Yes. They're going to give you what they're able to come up with. Uh, let's see. You guys have 67 of those grenades. They're able to manufacture in the week's time. And it nullifies and reduces their armor by half. So you can add that to your inventory. All right, that's gonna be good. All right. Because their armor's like 68, 69, something like that. Pretty I'll high take up about there. five grenades with me. But that's for your entire ship. So you have 67, and that's it. So. Yeah. Do they do any damage, or do they just disable uh, the? They shields? did. They disable the shields and and reduce the armor by half. All right. Do they have a range, like a radius range? One d ten. All right. It's a random range because <laughs> it's experimental. And those are meters. One d ten meters. Mm-hmm. 
So what are the statistics on this uh, psychic amplification chamber? Like, what does it actually do? So it's an actual physical chamber they have to install on your ship, and they kind of bring the, the schematics yeah. over to you. They tell you <clears throat> that it will improve your range by a factor of 100. So your size. Uh, let's see. Uh, you increase your psi rating by a factor of 10. So times 10, your psi rating. Okay. And all ranges are increased by 100%? Or time, by a factor of 100? Yep. So times 100 of whatever? Yep. Okay. Uh... Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. you, you are, unfortunately, though, when you use this device, you have to be... Uh, was it? Uh, attached to it, connected to it. It is literally a, a chamber, chamber. So yeah, chamber on the ship. Mm -hmm. Then any damaging effect you have is also time factor of a hundred. So, oh, so my psi rating is increased by ten, and the damage is increased by a hundred yep. percent or a hundred times. Yep. So that's twenty dice times a hundred. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> that seems quite a lot. <laughs> So yep. take That's out those insane. shields, and I will annihilate anything down there. <laughs> because that's, well, a factor of 20, or, uh, 20 meters times 100. It's 2,000, right? That's oh, it's 2,000 kilometers. So we got to get kind of close. Yeah, it needs to be like in a low orbit type of thing. <clears throat> Wait, no, that's just the radius. That's a two-kilometer radius. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, let me find the actual range on this stuff. Raro, Reggie. A two-kilometer radius. That's kind of insane. So the temporal manipulation uh, <clears throat> scepter, that's a ship-mounted thing, so... And you can target target things so you can accelerate or slow oh, no. it down it's a two kilometer time. distance with a blast radius of 20 meters unless that's also increased by 200 in which case it is just a straight up two kilometer sphere of annihilation that i can throw down on something <laughs> but only yep. if it's but two you are you are essentially would be attached to the ship so. <clears throat> yeah and downsides um, you have to roll on that chart every time, yeah. oh, and, more, and the effects are, if it's a damaging effect, also times 100. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I get a re-roll. And, <laughs> and, and I'll take 1d3. And I need, an, I need an 85 or above to trigger the big chart, and I get a re-roll on the small chart. Yeah. Um, and it takes one, one d five days to get mounted in and unmounted. Oh. And if I and if I push since I may as well do that since I have to anyway. That's oh, a star man. Rating of, that's a star rating of 28. Oh, holy shit. So it's effectively a three kilometer sphere of annihilation <laughs> doing 28 D10 damage times 100 <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> Every time uh, I use it. Dude, that's insane. Yep, one time use though. So one oh, time so use. It can only be used once. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well that kind of uh Yeah, that makes sense, alright. Yeah, I'm like, well we can annihilate that uh road trader ship. Good. <laughs> 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 Just make it gone. Mission are there any, accomplished. Are there any damaging, any other damaging powers you have, or only the shark one? Well, I got two. Uh, one's just um, one's the regular smite, which is basically the same thing, but it doesn't happen twice. But okay. it has a pin value of um, my psi rating. Ah, uh, so you guys the running ma does it twice. But there's no pin. Yep. Ah. Okay, okay. They Over also inform you there's a chance it also might make a miniature black hole. So, 
<laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to make, be making a giant space megalodon eat, to eat a ship, so I'm... <laughs> oh, that sounds so awesome. Oh my god. Because that's, that's effectively what I'll be making, is I'm summoning a giant space megalodon to devour a ship. That's uh, pretty cool. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. But I don't know if we want to use that on the ship, or if on like a giant fortification. Because I mean, we drop the shields, I drop that on them, boom, they're all annihilated. <laughs> well, I, 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 like, again, you, but... you just annihilate a stronghold. <laughs> yes, but again, like this is a um, if it, well, it, it's a one-time use, so we're we're eliminating something. Wait, you said the radius, the distance you need to be is two thousand kilometers, right? Well, if I push it, that's uh, 2,800 uh, kilometers. Because my side angle will be 28, and it's 28 time, um, times 10 meters, so 28 meters uh, times 100. So 2,800 meters um, is the distance. And technically, the radius is only my side rating, but if everything's being multiplied by a factor of 100... Except for siring is a factor of 10. But everything else is a factor of 100, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. My siring rating is a factor of 100? It seems that way. Okay. So then the range is uh, 2.8 kilometers. And the radius will be 280 meters. Yep. Mm -hmm. So about a quarter of a kilometer. All right, um, because I'm 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 looking at um, what kind of um, the Karman line for like the Earth is. So like when the space starts and where the atmosphere is, is starts, and for example for Earth it's about sixty-two miles. So if we are on orbit, we need to be pretty low to yeah. if we want to hit something on the ground. Yeah. So this will probably need to be saved for when we go after the uh, the rogue trader ship. Yeah, something in space, yeah. Okay, uh, so you guys have a decision to make, because they'll take, let's see. Or I can, like, force dome uh, an entire fleet, because uh, that's... Yeah, force dome. So, Boko, oh, wait. They, they can do it in eight days. Yeah, Boko, wait, when... can, you just, can, you, can you not just, like, disable the machine spirits of every, everything? Yeah, but the way the the rules is written, it disables everything for one round. Okay. Yeah, like sure, I'll be able to disable all of them for one round, or I could like stun one thing for eternity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With their mothership. So, yeah. uh, Boko, when when you say there's one time use, like after we use the amplification chambers, they're just gone. It. So the things that could happen that the the tech priest tells you that it could generate a black hole after use, it could uh -huh. shut down, or it could kill the pilot or kill the uh, the the psyker. Oh, those are the three options. Damn. So what we're saying yeah. is it could yeah. either shut down or kill the pilot or kill the operator. Yep, that's so correct. The only two options. Yep. Well, the black hole would kill everyone. Right. It'll kill the operator. <laughs> and the operator and everyone, yeah. <laughs> and then the operator. Well, look, I'm also oh, rolling I, on the chart, so I could summon a chaos prince. Like a, 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 yeah. a chaos prince a army rift. <laughs> yep. In addition to that, so. And the oh, yeah, you can and just he would be buff as hell. Else, yeah. <laughs> he would well, be buff as hell too have. from uh, the site the <laughs> amplification chambers. Like. Ooh. As if a demon prince isn't bad enough, he would be, be super, insane. Be a super demon prince or an <laughs> army of demon princes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, I also have compel, so I could compel all of the people on board the ship, or at least 280 people. The power of the murder, emperor compels you. To murder their teammates. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You get right next to that ship, on board, you're loyal to the Emperor, Kim. <laughs> you know, 
you know, I really like the psionic amplification chambers because, uh, like, if, if this is how we lose the entire <laughs> campaign, I'll be happy with that. I'll be okay with that. <laughs> like, this is just insane. Mm-hmm. So hey, you guys went through a lot of trouble to get to get this stuff. Yeah. So nearly. Yeah. Died. So so if we don't install it, will we just remain on their ships, or will they install it on their ship, or how will it work? Do they just like have it? In- they don't. Have, they don't have psychers, so they have no need for it. They're just telling you what they can develop from these artifacts. Yeah. So okay. Have it put on the the Donrath, and then. Uh... And then the other one, the shield emitters, or the uh, not the shield emitters, the uh, the temporal, temporal emitter. Generator, yeah. I can, you can, it's as reads as the script. You can slow it on time, so you can literally stop a target in space. You can accelerate time on the target and make it go be gone, right? And make it run a million years in a split second. So, and it's multiple uses. Yeah, but like, where's the distance? What's the, uh, like, how can we actually use it? Like, I get, like, you know, it's hey, a target sh- happens, but. It's a ship, it's a ship mounted thing. Uh, it has a. 12 kilometer range. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it can uh, any any area within um, <clears throat> 1d or no 1d 100 meters. That's the target range you can mess with at any point mm-hmm. in space. So we stun the ship with that, get in the close range, and then. Get a giant megalodon to take a chunk out of the ship. Kill the yeah. Inside. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so the first item, the chambers, gonna, they they can do it in eight days. They can they can get that mounted in eight days. <laughs> Whereas the the generators is gonna take them. Okay. They're they're fairly, fairly fast workers, aren't they? So it's just like <laughs> Especially days considering days. it took them what seven days to make all this. <laughs> it took them a little, a little bit longer. Yeah. Still. Alright, cool. Why do they do they have best of the best and we don't? Uh, no, the they have the artifacts themselves. The artifacts can just naturally do this, whereas they're giving you the um, shadow of those <coughs> artifacts. Yeah, still, to be able to reverse engineer something, you know, and make yeah. a working prototype in six days is well, amazing. Yeah. But I'm not going to complain. Uh, so... You can we'll have that stuff installed. Those. Yep, it's going to take them eight days for the first, six for the next. So, they can only do one at a time. Alright, so by the time they install it, uh, then I will be healed up. Yep. Uh, and I will have my bionic arm. And that the uh, priest inform you they'll have to disable all other defensive weaponry to make the temporal system work. It needs all available energy. So you have to be using the yield cannons for the other defenses. Uh, so uh, do we need to disable them? Is it disabled permanently, or do we need to disable them when we fire that? How is I, it? I think it's the fire. It's well, they tell you that they're they're so they're explaining the <coughs> diagram and all the other stuff. So it's permanently. They essentially, it's going to be a permanent thing on the ship. It's a permanent install. Yeah, and they permanently disable all the all of our other guns. All the other guns that require energy, yes. Mm. So missiles and cannons will work just fine. They tell you so the stuff that's uh, the hand reloaded that'll be fine. But our uh, big fuck off weapon that we got on our gu- uh, ship won't work. He informed you, yes, that's correct. So you're replacing one for the other. They don't have to install it. You don't have to install it, but that's just. But this one's not a one and done, though. We can use this repeatedly. Multiple times, yes. They tell okay. you being, yeah. That's honestly better than a big fuck off gun. Yeah, I think so, too, because, like, you, you can usually just block the big fuck yeah. off gun. Yeah. You just stop the thing from firing at us, and then we just tear into it. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> uh, does it impact the, the shields? Uh, does it yes. draw so much power? Okay. Yes. Oh, well, have that to... means we can't warp anymore. Does it? I don't remember. Yeah, because the Geller still builds are what keep the uh, the warp at bay. So yep. without shields, we can't warp. Yep, that's correct. Well then, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't. They tell 
They they tell you you guys can't warp out of here anyways. It's imp it's impossible to warp out of this system. Well, That's I think we were dealing with an entire sector. It was the system, you know, planetary oh. system. No, no, okay. no. Planetary system. You guys so it's are... Just, so it's just been a system that's been taken over, not an entire yeah. sector. Yeah, just a, just a system. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just... I was under yeah, the just... impression that we were fighting the, across an entire sector. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so <clears throat> what, <clears throat> what is happening is that the rogue trader vessel mm -hmm. somehow is able to bypass your Inquisition's uh, warp nullification fields that's being emitted by the Inquisition forces. There, the Inquisition is preventing the spread of these guys to the greater to the, the galaxy, right? Because okay. it'd be a nightmare. So they're doing containment. They're not telling you. They're keeping it all hush because they don't want anyone else to know. I'm just, this, this is metagame. It's just telling you what's going on. Um, gotcha. But your characters do know that rogue space marine is bringing in supplies and other raw materials to these aliens, the Xenos, and then in exchange, they're giving him technology and other things. So, and they seem to be tied, from your guys' intel, seem to be tied to a centra centralized ship or AI or something. You're... Something is controlling all these things. Make sense? Yeah. Because okay. else, else they, the the Inquisition, they informed you, else they would have already left on their own accord. They don't really use the warp like like our forces do. Hey, Thomas. Mm -hmm. How does Righteous Fury work with this amplification chamber? <laughs> what is, read, read it off to me. What does it do? Uh... So Righteous Fury, when you get a 10 in the damage roll, you get to do it again. Oh, yeah, you can do it again. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so with 280 dice that I'll be rolling, Guarantee one of those is going to be a ten. Yeah. All right. <laughs> mm, okay, so it know. is. It is literally whatever well, we point this at is just getting destroyed. Yes. All right. <laughs> as long as we've uh, confirmed that, I will be summoning a school of space megalodons. <laughs> yeah. Should you take the righteous fury, though, it it will instantly pop you, kill you. So you can do that. Do that as you will. So wait, what? Gotcha. Righteous yeah. Fury will kill you instantly. Oh. Okay. All right. I feel that's a fair trade. But yeah. in exchange, you could do all that fuck off stuff you're talking about. <laughs> Just wipe out an entire fleet. <laughs> <laughs> an entire school of megalodons, wiping them all out. <laughs> the Rio shark attack. You know what, man? You're, you're, temp you're tempting the shit out of me to just kill my character again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Because I, I will bite. I will take that thing. <laughs> what are you, a shark? <laughs> Space shark. Yeah. Wow. But as far as your intel is aware, their shields will prevent a lot of that psyker stuff you have. So dis disabling of the shields is paramount. Not on there. Um, rogue trader ship. Oh, the rogue trader vessel fleet. That's what I'm saying. About? Yeah, but the the intel on them is very scarce. You do know that they're training alien tech, so it is possible, possible that they too also have those shields. But you have no idea. So that's a gamble you have to take. <clears throat> Well, we gotta. We don't know when or where the rogue trader ship is really gonna pop in or pop out. Uh, it's at that station. It's the only way they've they've seen him leave or come. It's via that station we spoke of. Okay. So they do. They do know that something on that station is allowing him to to bypass your guys's. Uh, disruption field. And the station has uh, is being protected by the shields, which are disabled somewhere else. Yeah. Yep. Plan planetary surface. They yeah, because if we you guys established that the aliens have centralized locations that control defense defenses elsewhere, like or hive clusters <laughs> of certain forces. So. Okay. 
So our, I think our overall plan, yeah, is to destroy the sale of the shields, and then I guess wait and ambush as the rogue shooter guy gets there, and then just annihilate him with the ship. Yeah, so we can cloak the ship. Um... Yep, cloak the ship, get in. Once the rogue trader gets there, if we see a ship there, we <clears throat> temporal lock the fleet, and then I just summon a, a massive swarm of space megalodons <laughs> to rip it to pieces. Well, as they'll be defenseless as the shields will have been disabled. A 1d100 meter fear of what that temporal field can stop. I don't know if you disable the whole fleet. Yeah, we would. Yeah, we we'll roll how how much it disables. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we okay. can stop the important thing from going getting away. That's correct. But if I'm summoning an entire fleet of or a s school of uh, space megalodons, it won't yeah. matter, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to matter. Okay. Question: Can the ship still be steered when the chamber is being used? Oh yeah, you guys can use the ship as normal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just won't be doing anything other than existing in the chamber. Yeah, for for one d five days, to get on and to get off. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, well, while I'm in it, I can't do anything else. Yep. So yep. the thing is, is I'm gonna need to be in that device when we take Pri the shields down. Yeah, prior to the whole operation. Yep. Yeah. So we're probably gonna have to send in the team, sans me, uh, to go and take out the shields. And I, in the ship, wait in ambush, waiting for the shields to go down. And I guess also uh, in waiting for the rogue trader ship to be there. And then once the shield goes down, rip everything apart. Yeah. Mm. So we might want to go hot on the uh, the attack on the shields, uh, and then like me and the ship just wait in ambush. And when I say go hot, I mean dreadnought hot. Yeah. What dreadnought? Did someone say you dreadnought? Have, yeah, you have two possible targets: the 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 airfield and that base you guys were at last time. Of where the shields they have not they don't know for certain what is emitting the shields, but they know they've narrowed it down to those two possibilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they report back, since you guys have done what you guys have done, they've increased forces in those two locations, specifically. I feel like the shields are still going to be at the place that we went before, and not at the uh, the airfield. You no, know, so just they... so you don't centralize all your assets in one location kind of a thing. But then yeah. again, these are Xenos, we don't know how they think. Oh, yeah, true. Might... Yep, there's a there's a there's a pole like thing in the ground as well, uh, on the airfield, kind of like what you entered the other place. So. Right, but those are just the shields, though. Hmm. Those are just the shields, though. Not the generator for the shields, but just like, I guess the relay for the shields. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying at the airfield. They, mm -hmm. the the the, re the reason your forces know it's a place of somewhat significance because there's an entrance area, these ships are centered around similar to the area you just came from. So like a, another potential Xenos artifact excavation site. Yeah. But they see forces going in and out of that tunnel, so that's what they're able to observe. And then of course that base. Yeah, that's why that's why I think that other base is the. Uh... The location of the children, right? Because it's not yeah. like the other place is just a uh, excavation site. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to hit like that the first target, not the not, not the excavation site. Yeah. Yeah, not the place swarmed by uh, aircraft, and other stuff, or airfield, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, the first base we gone to and then retreated from, uh, and then we murder the shit out of some uh, some people. Correct. And then mission Some done. heretics. <clears throat> That'd be a way for your character to go out, right? Oh, it'd be so fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? He saved the entire galaxy from Xenos scum. <laughs> Not only that, he did something no other psyker could ever fucking cope to accomplish. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
the unsung hero. Except for the God Emperor himself, I imagine. Not in his fractured state. No. <laughs> Uh, well, there is this chapter um, called Mortificators, I think, um, and one of their kind of weird uh, things about them is that their chapter master like sits in this kind of a throne thing, chamber, and it, it kind of like also kind of psychically does stuff to like around the the the, the planets uh, the where they recruit the new recruits. Uh, I need to find the exact excerpt from that, but probably has some like some similarities to that. Uh. Probably, but we also don't know how like, these psi ratings within this game equates to actual psi ratings in the actual universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Because even though I'm technically as powerful as I possibly can be, we still don't know what that actually equates to anything else in this game. Like, would I be as powerful as, like, the... A chaos god. Chief librarian, you know, of, uh... Of, like, the Blood Ravens? I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> sure, Possibly. why not? But the whole thing is that the whole whole system is, is absurd. So you can be as powerful as not as powerful as you possibly can imagine. Uh, so you guys are going to the installation again? I think that's uh, the plan, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to the installation and then what? We're going to be going in hot, trying to drop in the shields, uh, and whilst Ericlides is gets in the chamber and gets ready to evaporate any uh, fleet that comes by. Yeah, All so right. basically we're hot dropping everyone into to assault the shield device at that one site, and then I, inside the ship, am going to be waiting in in stealth. Uh at the big station or whatever, waiting for the shields to drop, and I think also waiting for uh, the rogue merchant to just be there. Because if he's not there, then me attacking that station, I don't know, I mean, it might still end up just doing it anyway. Yeah. I, I found the excerpt, it's from the Death Spectres uh, Space Marine chapter, it's in the Death Watch channel, if you want to read that later on. Um... Uh, I think Virlo and and his dreadnought. Um, sh like yeah, I think Virlo needs to scout ahead. Scout like where can we go, in which direction can we actually go? Uh, uh, I think we're missing something super important there. The giant shield. We need to see what how, what awesome contraptions are going to be added to your uh, to your arm and hands. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't roll for that actually. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I I <clears throat> presumed because like it's a bionic it, and, and how it functions is um, uh, if you're adding modifications that's on you to do but uh, your basic hands yeah let's roll for that see if you get functional hands again functional so just, I'm just well, I think out. basic bionics are just going to give you you know functional things but yep. we got a master uh, crafter over here who can probably make some fancier hands and a fancier arm so I'm just gonna link stuff that's in the book. Uh, this is like about the bionic arms, and I think there was like a, a thing where it, it like shows what the master quality bionics looks like, but I need to find that. But like essentially, I just get like a plus ten to my strength when using that arm, uh, so I deal more damage by using the arm. Uh, One otherwise, more damage? Yeah. Uh, three, actually. I think, uh, because of the... Uh, oh, yeah, the old multipliers. Yeah. Yeah. So how do I... Like, do this... Uh, does this, this, this uh, Neil Tyson roll for that? Do I roll for that? Neil Tyson would. Well, if Neil Tyson's creating your stuff, I think he would roll for it. 
and all the all fancy right. things that uh, go in it. I don't think that I can actually create stuff, but I can advise some mechanicus. Oh, I'm sure your Dreadnought's got has like some like little tiny manipulator device on it. Could be. Yeah, you can you can have your adeptus your. I mean, you your tech priests to help you, and they, so they would act in your your stead. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Tesseract, you're doing the rolls. All right. With your guidance, they do things. But yeah, you could also create what what Yelbug's talking about, little tiny arms for you on your contraption so you can interface with the world. All right, modifier for tech use. Minus 30. Oh my god. What is that roll? A 70. He's going to end up he's going to end up breaking your arm. Um, he's like I have a, I have a non-functional limb that sort of works. Virlo is going to spend a fate point because Neil Neil Ty, Neil Tyson doesn't have any fate points, and uh, we're going to re-roll that. So this will well, be. Well, fate points is between your two characters, so right. But yes, so minus twenty instead of minus thirty. Right. Oh, hey, that's there a we much go. better roll. Mm. Okay. Very nice. Are you trying to do what to his bionic arm specifically? And this is very low in his hands. Currently. So, like, uh, sure, yeah, we can, we can make it like a mechanical arm as well. Sure. Well, I'm saying if uh, yeah. this guy's making it, you can add like almost any modification you want. Like how we've been doing it to our armor and our weapons and stuff. I think this is a chance you can get like a crazy arm. Is there a way that I can get like an interfacing device where I can hack into terminals and pick locks and stuff? Would that be possible? Into the arm, so that I have like a better chance of hacking stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I was because saying for Virlo, I I. But if you want to do that, you can. Oh, you're doing it for Virlo right now. Oh, I'm sorry. You're doing this for Virlo. I okay. thought I was. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's do it for Virlo first. That's fine. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, you All can right. do that. So that'll be part of my signature gear now. So what is it like? The plus twenty. All right. To uh, to tech use or, or hacking, whatever the skill is. All right. Just gotta add this. And if he succeeds, Dan will either be a plus 10 to strength or a plus 20 to strength on the left arm only. Yep. All right. So I'm rolling for uh, Dan now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Modifier? Minus 30. All right. It's going to be a there plus 10. Mm -hmm. Plus 10 to strength on your left arm. Anyone else lose any limbs that need replacement? Not yet. Didn't someone lose a foot? Oh, that was a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, has her foot now. Yeah. That was a long time ago. That was like last year, a long time ago. <laughs> I the think. Last century. Yeah. Yep, last century. Yeah, Man, we haven't the board. spoken to each other in a century. <laughs> <laughs> Until now. Until now. Alright, we're low. Scout ahead. Um, Basara would be on board the vessel as well. Since he's not here this session. With Karnoth, Virlo, and the Dreadnought. Because it's going to take... Go ahead and roll Yomug for how many days it's going to take you. And there's 1d5 days to mount in. If you're mounting up before this operation. Yeah. Uh, let's roll D6. Two days. Takes you two days to get mounted in. Tech Priest mounts you in. Two days. Let me move things around because in two days, things are.
Rolling 1DF. I don't know. It just says roll fudge. <laughs> what? It just says fudge. I don't know what fudge means. You can uh, do a slash roll 1D5 as well. Oh, yeah, also I fudge, I think. Uh, it's like for some ob uh, obscure mechanics. I don't remember how it works exactly. Fudging numbers? Yeah. Fudging um, dice. Gonna roll fudge. All right. Hey. There's oh, some hello. off. All right. The muff is gone. What was that? I just got back. Oh, welcome. Guten Morgen. Who's been bombing? Camp Pendleton. It's also been real cloudy, so the shockwaves carry all long distance. Oh, they're doing testing. I thought, okay. Yeah, so. yeah, they're doing bombing practice. Bombing I think it meant like, like, like you're under attack and there's bombs going on in the city and it's been hard to sleep because, uh, you know, no. Um, no, 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 no. I live in the U.S. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, was I was gonna say, like, He's not in Syria right now. States. <laughs> He's not in Iran or Israel or the Gaza Strip. Or Ukraine. Or Ukraine. Or China. <laughs> That's pretty bad. This bomb's going off. What? We're not right bombing now. our own people. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Catch Moth up to speed. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, you're good. How dare you so, interrupt? So we got the the mechanics on uh, what those fancy artifacts can actually do for us. So, uh, the psionic amplification thing of a bobber uh, is a thing that gets installed onto the ship. Uh, and I have to... Uh, it takes me, like, up to five days just to get into it, and it takes me up to five days to get out of it. But while I'm in it, I can cast, like, one power, and then it's done. Um, and when I do that power, uh, it's either just going to shut off, no big deal, or a black hole gets created, or I just die. That sounds familiar. But, while it is doing that, it's increasing my, uh, psi rating by double. Um, and then the okay. effect of that psi rating by a factor of 10. Uh, and it's also increasing the range of everything, uh, ranges of everything by 100. So I effectively can get like a uh, 280 meter radius uh, sphere of annihilation onto anything within uh, 2.8 kilometers. And we've established that I can righteous fury it, but if I do, I will die. But I'll essentially be able to effectively have an infinite use of whatever damaging spell I'm using. So I will annihilate anything that we want. Once, and then I'm dead. Also, the ship might explode from, uh, from the black hole. We don't know until we use it. Um, the second thing is the temporal generator. Once installed in the ship, uh, we'll turn off the shields and the big fuck off gun that we have. But, whatever we shoot at, basically we can either just make it fast forward a million years or stop entirely. But we still have use of like rockets and regular cannons, just not like laser beams and... Here's, here's the better question. Do we still have access to the Colkey device? Yes. Oh, well then. Boom, you're dead. We stay cloaked, we win. And get wrecked. And then, of course, we also have the uh, 67 of the nanite grenades that disable personal shields. Uh, and it's like a D10 meter radius uh, explosion whenever they go off. 1D10 radius, yeah. 1D10 radius, and it halves their armor by half. And it, their and it nullifies are... their shields. Yep, completely. Uh, so, our current plan is... Uh, well, we were given two locations of the possible shield generator. 
One was the base that we had like approached before, but failed to actually infiltrate. Uh, in the second place, uh, after a little bit extra investigation, looks like an excavation site, like at a location kind of where we just came from, where the artifacts were. So it, it like it kind of looks like one of those locations. So we figure the shield generator is probably at that first place that we went to, and not an excavation site. Uh, and the plan is to go in there, blow up those shields, while the ship, me inside the amplification chamber inside of it, are waiting in ambush at the big giant station that's the super main target, and wait for hopefully the uh, the rogue trader to appear, um, and then drop the shields and then kill everybody. And then I also go bye bye because I will be summoning a giant swarm of space megalodons. Damn. That's our, okay. That's our plan. Suicide is the plan. Well, I, my plan is suicide, but I'll be taking out a crazy ton of things with me. Fair enough. And this is the second time Thomas has made me kill my character this campaign. But, but. Oh, you... don't worry. I've killed my character to kill a whole bunch of other shit too no i gave you i gave you a choice whether to do something or not do something you are actively you gave me a choice to actively summon a swarm of space megalodons <laughs> yes. to annihilate an entire fleet of alien sp uh, vessels well, and space marine vessels to be to be fair you can summon like a couple of megalodons and not die and still live no, I mean, it's just one megalodon that bites a couple of times, sure, and I have the possibility of living. But if <laughs> I have one third chance that, that nothing else happens, one third chance a mini black hole shows up and I die anyway, and one third chance that I just die anyway. Yeah, Most yeah. of those chances well, are weighted differently. Might as well go out in a blaze of glory and just kill everything. Also, it'll make it easier for uh, you guys to survive if there is no fleet left to chase you. <laughs> oh, that's a fair. Just remember, it's not about surviving. It's about um, having the best story. Yes, having I'm, the best I'm, I'm story. A... It's about doing the mission for the Emperor. Yeah. And I am so, serving the Emperor. So you're just righteous, righteous, fury, righteous fury in all directions, then I imagine with sharks. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, that's, what I, that's the plan. Shark, 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 shark. Hey, get more shark. Hey, guess what? More sharks. Chill's gonna go down first. You get a shark in, you get a shark in, you get a shark in, you get a shark in. Well, because I'll be rolling like 280 dice every time I do it. If if if, <laughs> if it's infinite, and it sounds like it is infinite, you don't need to roll anything. Well, that's what, well what I'm saying is because it's 280 dice, and the likelihood of me rolling a 10 on at least one of those 280 dice guaranteed. Is, guar is practically guaranteed. So it's effectively <laughs> an infinite swarm of space... Uh, no, uh, so space they can, then just save. you can direct your uh, Righteous Fury attacks anywhere you want. We've done it in the past and we've ruled that yeah. before, so yeah, yeah, I can just so, start changing my targets to everybody within 2.8 kilometers of me. So here's yeah. another thing. Um, rather than rolling uh, 280 D10... He doesn't need to. He's already, roll... he's already affirmed it's infinite. No, no need to. Infinite. I am gonna roll it once though, just because I want to see it. No, okay. <laughs> two two hundred and eighty D ten, or you could do ten D two hundred and eighty. It'll be the same thing. Mm, no, because those uh, D eighties have a higher chance of rolling a one, whereas oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Minimum damage I'm doing is two hundred and eighty. That's true. Whereas very different damage. Yeah. Whereas two like well, different different bounds. So, like, there's the lower bound is, like, the Forward. floor. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's always better to roll more dice than less dice. Especially yeah. if the high end is exactly the same. The low end will always be higher. But we'll scroll down those 200 and something odd dice you got. <laughs> and we'll see if there's Righteous Fury in that. If it, no Righteous Fury, that's going to be pretty funny. Oh, yeah, if there's not a single 10 in that, Yeah. <laughs> Then uh, was, Yomug is retiring. Stuck. He's retiring. Well, from... well, no, then we roll in the die and see if I survive whatever that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The 1d100. <clears throat> it's either I guarantee I die or 
uh, we, we roll on that chart and see if I survive. Yeah, uh, failure will be the black hole. Um, <laughs> near success will be you die, and then success... Is or no, near, near, <laughs> near success is uh, uh, shut down. Past that is death. Past that is black hole. And then success is you, you did it. You, yeah, hooray. Yeah. We'll, we'll see when, you know, when we get to it. I'm sure you're going to save up your um, fate points for that one. What? Well, that's only if I don't get a Righteous Fury. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm, yes, I mean for the actual the actual, uh, the attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going <clears> to <throat> fate point that crap out of that if you fail. Yeah. But anyway, we are currently about to land on a planet, or that everyone else is, to uh, storm the shield generator. Uh, and you were on this ship with me, but now that you're here, you get to make the choice of where you want to be. Mom. Mom? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> so, so they were about to drop to the planet uh, and investigate, or start going for the shield generator. And you were on the ship with me, but now that you're here to make a choice of where you're going to be, you can decide if you're going with me or not. Well, yeah, I'll go down. Cool. I'm not useful on that ship. It's going to be me, the ship, the idiot guardsman piloting it, <laughs> who makes wee sounds as he steers. <laughs> hey, he's a better pilot than I am. Did you know that? Yeah, my brother acted as the pilot, so it's pretty uh, interesting. Pretty interesting that conversation. That explains a few things. So, uh, Yel, Yel Mug, I put your character down there. Or not Yel Mug, Eraclades, I put your character down there. Uh, just so I can have vision. Yeah, so there's a skull and a blue, just so you can see. Sweet. Does your character have, um, what is it? What do they call that? Um, remote viewing capabilities? That's a Sliger. No. I'm going to say you have it now because they have Sweet. Amplified. Except I'm not using it because I'm in the chamber. The chamber, yeah. The chamber is amplifying it. You can use remote viewing freely. Well, the, the right, chamber... but that would be my one power. The chamber no, no, no. Has... Free, freely. You can okay. freely use it without, without discharging the chamber. Okay. The chamber has a monitor in it that uh, uplinks to a camera a on, the, on the outside of Neil Tyson's <laughs> uh, Dreadnought armor. Oh uh, no! He, his character can now remote view. Do the do the I'm power actually projecting action. down onto the surface. Yes. Ah. Yes. Oh, good. That means I can uh, scout ahead for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You can do whatever you want. I say we let the psyker do the scouting and avoid risk. Now, as you approach the base, you can no longer move your astral projection. But that's as far as you can go right there towards the shields. But basically the outside of the uh, the big buildings? Yeah. Sweet. So there's a bunch of them alien fuckers, and then a bunch of them space marine fuckers. Oddly enough, one of them looks like Karnoff. Whoa, there's space marine fuckers down there? You guys probably shouldn't go down there. <laughs> they might try to tear us a new asshole if they're fuckers. I, I definitely think they're associated with Slanesh. Yeah, sounds about right. It's time to crack the knuckles. Let's go. Uh, most of them are pointing in your direction. I can take them. I you advise guys... heading to the left side of the base. I will take them later then. So you guys are not going comms. Comms quiet. You guys are using comms to communicate to one another. Ship to ground. Mm, can Eric Oh, uh, that's true. I don't to have oh. telepathy because I refuse to get it. Uh, no, you don't. Have, you don't. You don't have telepathy, but your chamber can. You can communicate. Like you can talk and communicate with people outside. That's you the mean only way you're he's got a out. telepathic radio. <laughs> no, no, no. He has a radio. Yeah, a normal radio. Yeah. However, telepathic certain radio. people believe that it's. Oh, Any time I use it, it's telepathy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, that's why I refuse to get the actual stuff with the ability. Because I could have. But I chose specifically not to, despite certain people. So you have so, telepathy. Uh, Your character yeah. can have telepathy. 
telepathy now, but you rolled chance of discharging the, the chamber. Yeah, hell no. So I, I receive a telepathy signal into my brain, I, and I understand that I need to go to the left. Well, no, uh, he can communicate that to you via the radio. And via yes, the radio telepathy, to you. yes. Oh, okay. All right, Virlo, Brasora, New Tyson. Let's go. All right. But I say, you know, <coughs> Death Watch Cipher. Uh, that all Death Watch people understand. Uh, bro, that those are the ciphers. There you go. Bro, 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 bro. Okay. Do you, uh, do you guys see your guys' token towards the bottom? Okay. And can you see Neil Tyson on your character? Uh, I can see Neil Tyson's character. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Can you see? What's your, what's your wounds on the on your guy? Is it fifty five? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Jesus. Well, I, I can take fifty five wounds. Metric. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty five. How much armor do you have? Um, front sides or rear? <laughs> front. Seventy four. Okay, good. I was about to say, if it's not over 30, then what was the point? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, put that in your character so I can remind myself. Yeah, front front armor is 74, sides is 61, and rear is 52. Those infantry have as much armor as you do. Yeah, so his uh, rear armor is the same as my body armor. Yeah. Because yeah, they have, I think the Xenos forces have 69 armor. Giggity. But with those sullen ash bastards. <laughs> well, it's a good thing y'all have 67 nanite grenades to throw at them. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll reduce their armor by half. Yeah, they have 69 armor all across. I don't see Neil Tyson's nameplate or. Uh... Oh, yeah, me neither, actually. You should have it. You, we have it on. Uh, oh, I, I it. see it. Hey, yeah, you hover. You have to do that yourself. Yeah, I don't see anyone's to add it. You hover over the character. That's what we established that because it got in the way last time. Hover over the character with your mouse. You should see it. I see everyone else's. Yeah. Well, you're the GM. Can, you drop, uh, all the time, so can you drop? Can you drop the token from the character list, uh, Tess? Like, can you drop? Uh, New oh. Uh, let's see. Just click and drag. Oh uh, yeah, click on the name, ah, not on the icon. Yeah. There he is. Oh what. That's weird. <laughs> uh. Yep, I see them all. I can hover over them, and I see your guys' names. Can you not see that, guys? Uh. No, we can't see his names because that's the DM thing. Yeah, I, I cannot see Brasora's name, or I cannot see like uh, your lady's name because yeah. they don't control those cut tokens. Yeah. Interesting. This was never an issue uh, before. When so we t to uh, Tess, can you can you move new type like a red knot yourself? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. His name is just probably not set to display. It is displayed. I can it see is it displayed right now. Here. It wasn't before. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't see it still, but it's okay. Whatever. Well, you have to yeah. hover your mouse over it. No, it, you only see the name if you have control of the token. Yeah. Oh, okay. They must have changed it because. It's been that way, that way for a while. Well, we set the. We got tired of seeing everyone's nameplate in everyone's way, so we yeah. set it to where if you hover over it, you can see your name. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. They must have done an update or something. Maybe. Or I had to redrop people to get it to work right. Yeah. Virlo. Yes. You need to scout ahead. I the will scout ahead. The weak spot is on the left side of this field. You need to find an entrance. All right. So I need to remember how I do this. It's gonna be a silent move check for every full move I make, right? Uh, yes. Alright. And your Dreadnought's gonna try to stealth move too? No, he's Well, you don't have to behind. do the rolls. 
yeah, you don't have to do the rolls until you need to. Um, so. All right. So how? Whenever you want to engage your stealth. So you're saying that the there's an opening on the left side, Dan? Uh, so I'm saying there's less people on the left side. Oh yeah. Yeah. So has Heraclides said. Yes. So I'm just going to start moving this way. And uh, Boko, you tell me when I need to do the silent move check. That's that's up to you, not me. Oh, I know where you might get in trouble. Oh, I so see what you're saying. Well, in yeah. that case, I'm gonna play safe and uh, silent move now. So, who's this, by the way? Virlo. No, the person I'm picking. That's me. Parnoth. It's Parnoth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just checking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my full move is 26 meters. I'm guessing it would not be a charge or a run <laughs> if I'm trying to be stealthy. Yeah, just a full move. Okay. Silent move. Any modifier on the silent move checks, Boko? Minus 30. Oh, all right. Need to look around for the shield. All right, that one succeeds. That one succeeds. Uh, do an awareness check as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll do an awareness check. Modifier? Plus 20. Plus 20? Alright. Minus 20. Oh, minus 20. Alright. Which is zero in total because, yeah. Because so you have to your helmet. Yeah, you hear in the distance what sounds like, like marching sounds. Loud ones. Like some... some something very big can I do a lore check to uh, try and determine what big thing would be making that noise sure would that be would that be war would that be Xenos death watch well, it, can either, it can either be space marines or Xenos that's up to you what, you, what you're thinking here what it could be all your character hears is loud marching sounds. I'm gonna That's go it. with Xenos here. So what's the modifier? Minus 60. Oh, so close. Oh, that should t oh, that would have been impossible. All the right. best you can conclude is that it's it's size equivalent to a titan of some sort of how loud it is and the cacophony of it all right i relay this information back to uh the team mm -hmm. uh, let's see if it aligns with my knowledge uh do I get the same modifier as him? As him yep. for the low? Okay. Yep. Oh yes, he's correct. Correct. Yes. <laughs> oh mean, boy. Should we all roll? Yeah, if you want to. Why not? Ah, <laughs> that's a terrible um, heresy. That's all you conclude. Fitting. Fitting. They must be heretics. Tread carefully, brother. So I did fail my last silent move check by 0 0.1 degree of failure. You know, fate point that? By the way, you... Yeah. Um, 
You hear the direction coming from this way, by the way. The loud marching. Um... I see them in the fog of war moving, but does Virlo see that? How far out can you see? I do not what know. Did you, what did you see precisely? So I can see all of this stuff here, even though it's not within my view range. Really? Yeah. Yeah, same for it, me. I can, like, I can see it's, the... It's in the fog. It's just not uh, shown. Right. But I'm not going to meta game. Um... No, if, I if, if I don't know I'm there, if I don't know they're there, then I don't oh, see no. it. Oh, no. How about now? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. We're blind. Uh, uh I can... I, I can see. My oh, wait, token... No, I, uh, I get... My token just became dislodged from, uh, the stats. Yeah. The Something map broke. It became very small. Yeah, like, it's not correct. Yeah, it's... The resolution is no... Weird. Oh, hey, that works. I'm not sure. I think it's just roll twenty being weird. Uh, I'm gonna refresh. I will refresh as well. I got my sight. Mine fixed itself. So somehow you guys got the GM darkness because I'm looking at. Oh, can here you we see go. them now? Is it completely gone now? Yeah, okay, yeah. So GM, uh, so, yeah, dark okay, circle. So don't see anything. Maybe you enabled like low light, and that's why we saw. Or maybe you placed the lights, and we still saw the lights. I don't nope. know. Or we had a token on the board that could uh, see everything. Uh, can you see them now? No. Nope. Okay. Cool. We're good. I just see the radius around me. That's okay. It. I honestly, that sounds like somehow you guys temp temporarily had GM vision. Oh. Because that's what I see. Hmm. That's how I move things around in position. Interesting. Mm hmm. Because I want to know what you guys are seeing, and then I move things accordingly. So, around. But, yeah. You, your character definitely hears that. So, your character is aware of that. So, you are able to discern there is a big. F off something coming in that direction. And your character is smart enough to know that you guys saw the army last time, so your assertion would be it is that army you saw last time. Are you sure I'm smart enough to to know? Do you want me to roll an intelligence check? Go for what it. What is your intelligence level? What? What's your intelligence stat? 53. Considering 20's average human intelligence. Yeah, your character knows. All your right. character is aware, more than aware. It should be just blatant. You guys are going to an installation with a huge F off force. <laughs> okay. I really now, wanted to your... roll a bad intelligence. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, what's the modifier? Plus 10. Okay, yeah, I succeeded. Yeah, your character is okay. able to easily glean that there's a big F off force on the planet. More than likely, it's some kind of. You're deducing it's some sort of combat patrol. Brothers, it appears that there is some sort of combat patrol in this facility. They may be moving out. It's hard to tell. Virlo pauses. Bulo pauses for a moment, listening to his transceiver for any possible response. <laughs> Continue going uh, in the same direction, but take precaution to not get caught. Understood. If if the patrols are able to move freely between between the barrier, then that mean that must mean that there is an opening somewhere. Alright, this will be silent move. By the way, you're in a large, kind of grassiest field, so you can h hide under various grass to not be observed. You mean I can lie prone in the 
tall grass will cover by gigantic space marine body. That's Watch correct. out for Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> That's correct. You have to weaken them first before you can catch them. All right. Uh, sorry, what was the modifier on the silent move checks? Minus 30? Minus, the, well, this one's going to be minus 50. All right. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, I actually have a talent. How many grenades did you guys give each other, by the way? Each one of you guys? I took, a, uh, I took like, six with me. You have I 67. suppose I have ten. And then how many did your guys take, Virlo? You, you can take whatever you want. Yeah, yeah essentially. You have, you have 67 to, to, to disperse to you guys. And let's throw out... I can't manufacture any more. I passed this, by the way. So whatever you have, that's all you have to the end of the mission. What are we talking about? Those the are the nanite nanite notification. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. So how many did you... did you, Would your character take with, with him on this mission? Probably as many as I can hold, unless that would deprive you guys of them. You have those... Belt chandeliers, you could literally bring 30 with you if you wanted to. Yeah, you're good. Belt chandeliers? Yeah, bandoliers. Like bandoliers? Bandoliers, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> bandoliers. I mean, a belt I'm chandelier. Gonna would be... swing <laughs> from a bandolier. To be fair, that does fit That would actually fit aesthetic. the aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they made of bones. <laughs> uh. And you can also equip a small grenade launcher to your Dreadnought and have him lob grenades. Just make like a shotgun cannon. It's, it's like a, a potato tube. cannon! It's like a tube, so you can just fire uh, full auto. Full auto grenades? Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright. He has a kit. You, you, you can install that in your Dreadnought before the mission or not, so it's up to you. They wouldn't take that long at all. They can literally just mount it on them. Uh, sure. Why not? So, I can see these things now. They're in same my... Same stats as the Bolter, by the way. Just what? whatever grenade you put. It would have the same stats as the Bolter. It's just whatever grenade you load into it. Ah, okay. And that would be the damaging effect, not not the bolter damage. <clears throat> Makes sense. Yeah. So what are you trying to do? Um. Well, I can see some of these guys here. Mm -hmm. So should I do a lore roll to figure out what those are, or do I already know, or or what? They look like Xenos guys that we saw before. They look. Bigger and badder than your the guys you're fighting before, for sure. Uh, more armor plating on them. Uh, they have a giant. To you, it looks like a giant mace. But they also would hold it like a weapon too. Like, does it make sense? Yeah. So. It's a gun mace. Gun mace. You're uncertain of their capabilities. Um, minus sixty. Figure out something. Glean any information you've learned prior. Nope. That's all your character knows. This is what you see before you, and the intel you have now, you know their capabilities. So I relay that back to the team. I I provide Good. a detailed description of these uh, filthy Xeno scum. Yep. Hulking. You know they're you know they're very hulking. Yep. I know they're very hulking. Uh, yeah. Their their metal gleams in the into the. Sunlight. Their metal Stop is gleaming the in the sunlight. <laughs> yep. And they have glowing, piercing red eyes. They have glowing, piercing oh, red eyes that gaze through my soul. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else to survive. Hmm? I was like, oh no. What? 
Continue. Well, they are Con supposed to be space marine fuckers, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continue evading them. And then in the meantime, I turn to the rest of the squad and, and or like order all of us to move in closer in case Virlo might need some support. So, just go to the left. Watch out for the shield. I'm going to go this way and then that'll be another silent move check. Uh, what's the silent move check for slowly crawling away from these guys? Uh, minus 40. Minus 40? Alright. Oh. Especially since they appear to be following you. They appear to be following me. And so I order the the rest of the team to gather up and start heading in Vero's direction. They're definitely following you. <laughs> I, uh... B Virlo decides to go radio silent. Just in case oh, no. they've been listening. Well, hey. after he tells you guys that he's going radio silent. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna pull some shenanigans. I uproot this bush and carry it. <laughs> Do I find him like a cardboard box anywhere around here, laying around? See now, a cardboard box is suspicious. A bush, not so much. Especially since there's plenty around. I don't. Look, I'm I don't see. Stealth. Do you want me to get noticed? I don't it's see Neil help. Tyson's token on the map. In the black. Begrudgingly, you make a good point, and I uproot as a bush nearby as well. <laughs> so, Yomug, your character noticed those Xenos. They seem to be surrounding your general area, and one of them is pointing in your general direction. Where you would be if you were physically there. Gotcha. Uh, then I'm just going to start moving around uh, haphazardly, giving them something to shoot at. <laughs> I'm gonna start hiding behind the larger ones and just hope they, they shoot at me while I'm targeting it so they hit the other guys. So uh, as you get near the the big ones, you lose vision temporarily. Ah, I see. We're sharing line of sight with each other, right? If we had the, the signal links they would targeting. I think. Uh I'm not sure if we do that naturally, though. Fair enough. What we we do know where they are. Like we, you, like uh, uh, Virlo did uh, show us their position. Yep. So Virlo, are you moving away now? Now that you went radio silent. Well, I'm this way, boys. There's a lot of them, and they're big. Yeah, I'm going to keep moving. Minus 30. And I'm like prone crawling right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Silent move. Oh. I'm pogging with these silent move checks. <laughs> Isn't it a contested against their awareness? They could just be rolling higher than you in the background there. Shut up! Shut up, Moth! Mm. Don't give Boko any ideas! Well, they're not <laughs> rolling anything, as far as you guys are aware. So you guys oh might know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So, hey. am I able to tell if this guy is actually following me or not? So you're gonna glean some information on him? Uh, I'm gonna try. Okay, go for it. Uh, would that be scrutiny? Yep. Modifier? Minus 30. Because you're in the grass, so it's a little little bit difficult. But you can tell that he's actively searching, at least with his sensors on his 
Space Marine seems to be very augmented suit in Xenos technology. Very metal gl glistening and all that. Um, his bolter seems very different than, y than your guys' standard issue. You just see him kind of glean in all directions. So I'm you're fairly certain he doesn't know exactly where you're at. It, it was almost like he was honing in on something is what you're deducing. I'm going to hold my position and uh, hunker down and try to remain concealed. Okay. And you kind of see him like um, using his comms and everything and reporting back to somebody. I'm going to do a concealment roll. Right. Modifier. Minus 30. <laughs> That's a success, technically. That's a success, yep. 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 Just barely. Alright. Are you guys moving forward? Is the other team moving up? What are you guys doing? I don't see uh, Neil Tyson. He's in. He's in the baffles for me right now. Oh, he doesn't have, have vision. He have should. Vision. Oh. Vision did, did just get changed. That's true. And he did change the token. Well, no, because I think you just dropped the token and you changed the token on the map. Instead of changing the token on his character sheet. No, I did both. I did update there, on I the just token. dropped a token. Mm. Which should have... Alright, now you can, now you can, can delete the other token. I, I can see him now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hmm. His lighting's slightly different. Yeah, he emanates like low light all around, all around him. So we, we actually can see that. It's a searchlight. I got... Uh -huh. Probably. A beacon of hope. It's the additional sensors he has on him. Sensor suite. So I imagine he would give information gleaning to everyone else. He has night vision and other sensors on him. So that's acting instead of those additional sensors. Right. Who is that? That is uh, Eric Lady's projection. Oh. Yep. Where did you guys yeah, go? You, I don't your see character you. does not see him. So uh, Eric, Lady, Eric Lady is what are you doing in the this, meantime? This direction. Are you still searching that, that big squadron? Yeah, I'm just floating around doing stuff. If I can, draw their attention another direction. Like over this way. I start moving my guy this way. In the attempts to lure them the other way. Right. And this thing closes the distance seems to be running at your projection. Wrong franchise. <laughs> I was trying to do Yakety Sax, but uh, it came out Star Wars. Oh, yeah. So. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, Quick, Eric, dun, ladies. Dun. Think happy thoughts. Fly away. <laughs> <laughs> So do you, do you meet a barrier on your way, on your crawling t up, or is it free t free to go? You're low. Oh, I guess he did go radio silent. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, he went radio silent because uh, his character's deducing they're honing in on that stuff. It's probably for the best that way we can't hear his screams when he touches the shield. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't touched the shield yet, I don't think. You'll, you'll know when you die. <laughs> well, I remember the last time that it happened, so yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to uh, go where I know the shield was last time. Yeah, a molecule of your armor touched the shield, didn't it let you on fire? 
probably not good to touch it fully. Yep. I mean, just embrace it with arms wide open. It'll be fine. Yeah, it would okay. just be dandy. So, you guys, let's see. The rest of the team, go ahead and do an awareness check. Minus 10. And the, the forces seem to ignore your projection there. They chased you, they chase, they try to keep up with your projection as fast ball, so you saw that giant form kind of just move at unrealistic speeds <laughs> towards your projection, like yeah. it knows exactly where you were at. Yeah, I saw that. So. Damn, yeah, did three of us roll a single digit awareness check there? It is super dark inside this chamber. Yes. So, yeah, you're able Real to. Dark -like. The team, you're able to discern that the marching is uh, right this direction. All right. The marking. Marching, marching. You oh, hear marching. Them, okay. You hear more marching. All right. Do we also hear the drums beating and the trombone? Maybe. <laughs> Trumpets. What about the sad trombone? Wah, 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 wah. I was going with the marching band going by, but okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, no, that's what they're playing in the marching band. <laughs> sad trombone. Yeah. Yeah. Should we push up? It's up to you. Man, are uh, they on top of each other? It's an orgy. If they, they are the are 69 going... armored Sal Nash guys. We need to go oh. further to the left to evade the march. So. so that's what you see. They all combine into one big thing? One giant, basically looking space marine type of entity. With sword and board. Uh, mm. New Tyson move. Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat looks like that. So, I break radio silence to uh, tell everyone what I just saw. Alright. There appeared to be a Xeno orgy, and they all combined into one big... Space Marine looking thing. Keep your fantasies to yourself. You're going to be reading the scripture for three days. <laughs> <to go back. laughs> right? Are you guys responding to his radio? I just did. Oh, okay. That was in character. Oh, bad move, man. Bad move. It's what's done is done. Yeah, are you... I'm sure you're stealth checking and hiding in the grass. Yeah, do Us you need me to stealth yellow? check? You guys. Uh, yes, we, we, are, we, oh, we, we, we are trying to conceal ourselves, yes. Okay, uh, concealment. So go ahead, do concealment. Uh-oh. We have been using bushes and all that, so do we get any bonuses? Mm -hmm. plus, uh, plus 30? Silent move or concealment? Con concealment. Yeah. concealment. Well, it's nice knowing you. Said minus thirty, plus plus thirty. Oh, plus thirty. Plus thirty. Plus I have a plus twenty to my boots. <laughs> hope this works. Um, oh my god, new dice. Oh boy. <laughs> I rolled a ninety <laughs> fucking nine. If you, I can give you a fate point. To be Question. fair, you are a dreadnought. Was the dreadnought yeah. communicating back in any way? No, he didn't communicate back to. Uh, oh, Zilla. you're with the group. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's bad. Okay, you could try oh. to concealment. Um, minus 50 for you. Well, I already failed miserably. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, minus we roll it. And he cannot roll even with a minus 50. He cannot win. So. Yeah. Now, technically, you don't have to land with the party. You can literally drop pot into... Remember, you still have that drop pot insertion thing. You can hop pot in from the ship itself. If so, you so are you saying that we can retcon the Dreadnought out of this fight until he's needed. Is that what you're saying? It's up to you. I'm giving yeah. you an option beforehand. Yeah. I'm I mean, not sure. Yeah, if let's do that. trying to stealth in, it's better to hot drop the, uh, the Dreadnought in instead of 
stealth a dreadnought in. All right, okay, Neil, so we'll Neil Tyson's him, we'll out of the picture. We'll put him to the side. I, I was just giving you that option because I was like, you might have forgotten you had that bay to begin with on the ship installed. So. Well, yeah. You did. Okay. Assuming the. Just for this very reason. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm a bit terrified of those giant fucker things. Space Marine fuckers. Why? Because they're looking at you? Um, I don't know. Are they looking at me, Boko? Can they see me through the tall grass? Are they taller yes. than the grass? They are way taller. Like titan size and they seem to be scanning in your general vicinity so for reference this is like the shield wall here right where this pillar is like if I walk past this line I'm dead right your character doesn't know do you know you want to take a chance well you. it's we safe did... to assume that it's there at least yeah, because we went, we did go down to the planet before, and I've already been through this, where I got lit on fire and almost died instantly. Yeah. So. You didn't, you didn't, there was nothing visible to see where it came from, how it was made it, you just know it's there. Alright. Well then, I'm going to hold my position then and try to remain concealed. Alright. So, uh, just to reiterate, they... They came from somewhere, so that means there must be a passage that they crossed, where they crossed the barrier from, like, through, so... Unless the barrier that. doesn't affect them. Unless it doesn't affect them. But we, we, we can only operate on the assumption that they can... Right. That there is an opening, yeah. Well, uh, we still can maintain our position just in case things uh, develop in a unfavorable way for you. Well, the problem is I'm kind of pinned and I'm waiting for these guys to fuck off and hope they don't scam me. So how long are you be sitting there? We can make, create a distraction by setting up something on the other side of the field, potentially, to turn away, away their Not attention. Question: Are you guys all using your comms right now? Uh, no, well, uh, I am not using my comms right now. Okay, so you're just discussing in meta. Got uh, I'm just in, in discussing in in meta. Yeah. yeah. Um. We could just wait, but like, if they are scanning, they will find you eventually. Uh. And in that case, Brisora and I can kind of like distract maybe one of them, but you will still be fighting the other, which means it will hit you probably. And knowing how Boko does things, it's gonna probably kill you. <laughs> uh, so we need, to, yeah, we need to be kind of weary. Um, so either we make a distraction, or we fight them right now whilst there's still advantage, like the, the element of surprise is on, on our side. So, right. like, for example, Ubrisora can initiate, uh, can fire a weapon, and then they will turn away from you, which means you have an opening to strike at them. You can also drop pod that uh, Dreadnought in. Do and we, we can drop pod, yeah. Do we, have, initiate the fight. do we have any shipboard artillery that we can call in? Your captain advises that's an extremely bad idea. Okay. An extremely bad idea. Um, they're for they're because the intel that you glean is they have a very sizable. Uh, they 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 control the space. They are space around basically pretty much to that area. Got it. But you guys are able to stealth in there and do your things. So he says, "There's no way to sustain." So. Warning: You are in range of enemy artillery. Uh, mm. No, more like. Warning, you have a fleet of enemy vessels, you know, that can form into one big vessel. And Why are the trees singing in binary? Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> you could you could also throw a grenade, um, and which will nullify their shields, which will also have their armor, and like uh, also like attack them head on. I wonder if I could throw a nanite grenade to create a hole in the shield to get through. But possibly, uh, it should work the same way. I'd like to try that. But I, I, I presume that's going to create an explosion, though, so I presume they're going to find yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. So how long are you going to be waiting for these guys to move off? Cause... I could jetpack a ways off and then just start broadcasting. It seems they're moving away. away. They, they're, they're moving towards you, brothers. I'm transmitting this. I uh, did not respond. No, wait, they're coming back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait, in that case, when, he, when we hear that... Um, well, actually... Oh, he's got Brissor more out. I, I, I just tried to turn to Brissora without turning on the comms. If we are going to act, we have to act now. All right, so grenade them or distract them. What are we doing? I feel like... I feel like distraction should be... It seems like they are attracted to radio signals, so perhaps if we go in separate directions and try to communicate back they'll probably uh they'll probably find uh, get distracted by us fair enough Sing. i will move back and oh before we nice. do that i double our agility bonuses oh i need to do that again thank you thank you <laughs> thank you thank, thank you Okay. Where was movement again? All right, so I'm going to move, say, over this away, about a four, 140 meters from here. And I'm going to radio signal back. Um, uh, what, what did he say? Like, oh, they're coming back. Uh, okay, viewer low. Stay where you are. Uh, where are you? I flip on the radio and say, Roger, Roger. Roger, I'm Roger. Here. I'm in this direction. All right. Uh, I do not respond over comms. I, I remain quiet. You just see them sit there now, unmoving. I also sit there unmoving. And I, I calm, uh, I've used the comms again. Continue staying where you are. And. Uh, I am trying to conceal myself as well. Okay. Minus I, 30. I receive the message, but I don't respond to it. Uh, and if I still use the bushes, do I still get that minus 30? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Minus 30. Or, yeah. Bushes. Perfect. Bushes plus 10. Minus 30 overall. So minus 20. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Dang. Not even close, baby. Hail to the king, baby. And so I lie in wait. Uh, can I? What do I glean from looking at? Do I see them? 
these. Uh, oh yeah, figures. they're they're way bigger mm -hmm. than your dreadnoughts. They're they're about a uh, Warhound Titan size mm -hmm. appearance. So they're pretty 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 big and stomping towards your dire general direction. All right, all right. And you just see what looks like various cameras pop out of them, and they're scanning in all directions. It looks like. I guess I'll pop up over here. Open up the radio again and say Roger, Roger, and then dip back over here into this bush. All right. Okay. So uh, I need to be. And how, how, how far can I move while still being prone and like trying to conceal myself? Is it like a normal move? Or yeah. A path move? Uh, yeah, yeah. Path move to get more stealth. Okay, half move. All right. Um, like plus ten to yourself. Uh, so the stealth checks minus thirty, right? Yep. Straight Third roll. Consumer. Let's go. Yeah. That's command. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Eric Hayes, are you reporting by any information Fuck. to the team? <laughs> um, and if I do that, Fuck. Well, uh, you know, they'll be tracked down. So why would I? Fuck. Uh oh. Yeah, we're not a stealth group. Mm hmm. So. Last chance. Okay, good. So, for Sora, what are you going to do here? Fate point, or are you going to, like, accept your fate? Fate point to try and get a 25? Ugh. Go for it. Sure, I got plenty. One and four. You do get a uh, plus 10 to your bonus, so... Yep. That plus 10 wasn't enough. Yeah. I mean, I'm untrained in concealment is the problem. Well, I mean, you get a plus 10 with the grass, plus 10 with the... If you fate point, you already fate pointed it, so you get plus yeah. 20. And yeah, it's a minus and I have 30. plus 20 from my boots, so it's just a plus 10. Which, even at a plus 10, is still a fail. I have, I have to roll a 25 or lower, so... Got it. Probably not going to happen with my rolling. So you're just going to... You're gonna go full. You're gonna go loud, or what are you gonna do? I mean, it doesn't seem like we have much of a choice here. Yeah, especially with Virlo cornered by what is that? Seven people now. Three of them gigantic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like yeah, that. Warhound Titan size. So, not a fight you want to take. That's not a fight we can avoid at this point. It, well, it, maybe. Get it this. is a fight we could actually avoid if we move fast. They may not be able to catch up to us. So I Eric may not be concealing, but I can silent move away. Did you did you give them the information gleaning from that that uh one chasing you? Um, I'm I'm just saying that like as like a options overall. Um, well, yeah. They know where I am. No 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 about their movement speed. Oh, how they're fast as fuck. Yes. I mean, I might have, whenever they were, before we realized that they were honing in on everybody via uh, box calls. Yep. So they can move, like, instantaneously. Not instantaneously, but pretty fast. Faster than a uh, creature of that size, or machine of that size. Blazing fast. So what are we talking about, like, 60 meters a second? 61, I mean, you're, even. You're, your character wouldn't know what what it is, but it's you know it's fast. Yell mug, it's faster than you guys can run. I mean, I'm pretty fucking fast. Just saying, especially with this buff. But I mean, not I'm fast enough to do 180. Yeah. Quick, does anyone have a pokey doll to use to get away from the fight? Yeah, because yell mug, is, his speed is infinite with the remote viewing and it was almost catching up to him almost or it seemed that way because you would move stop observe around you and it'd be on top of you already but then so or they teleport you, you haven't seen them teleport you've seen them walk everywhere but it's possible they can teleport too
not out of the question. By the way, Yelmug, your, your ship's still in orbit, so it's up to you guys what you guys are going to be doing at this point. Are you guys going to go loud, or are you guys going to try to stealth out of the situation? The moment Brasora acts, oh, I, will, I will also have to act. Yep. It's all up to you, Brasora. What? I mean, I'm shit at stealth. We're all kind of shit at stealth, except for Pirlo. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I presume, like, in general, you can probably throw a grenade, or you can probably just shoot and run, or, you know, or throw a grenade and run. Are we sharing vision? Mm. That's the big question here. When Virlo, we? I think Virlo, when we, Virlo was like saying, "Oh, the, they are here! Like there's a patrol here." There's, I think then he was sharing information with us, but like, otherwise, I don't think we are sharing vision. I'm, or I'm remaining, I'm remaining quiet right now, and I'm pretty much counting on you guys to create some kind of a distraction. Well, I'm I am completely cornered and just hiding. I am, I am still technically one, uh, uh, one that's not spotted yet, and I still can move. But I'm out of uh, fate points to fuck up. So if I do fuck up, it will be. Well, you know what? I can hand you one of my fate points if you fuck up. Well, uh, actually, maybe it's good if I fuck up. You know what? I was just gonna start shooting. Uh, before you start shooting, let's see if I can fuck things up even more. Uh, I'm gonna do a full move instead. <laughs> okay, so it's just uh, oh, that's why set. they've been fighting me. I've been literally jetpacking around. <laughs> I'm not, I've abandoned <laughs> stealth at this point. No wonder they, no they keep finding me. I haven't been hiding at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I did sneak. From this bush to this bush. Yeah, stealthily. Jetpack to one location. Yeah, to the with next. a whole negative 1.6. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Alright, silent move. Uh, what is it, like minus 30 overall? So they know where you're at, Moth. And they're... they're just ignoring me because I'm not a threat right now. Yeah, so uh, is the silent move overall like minus 30 overall or is it like yes. targeting? Okay. Any bonuses? Because I'm like trying, or, or, or have there no bonuses? No bonuses if you're doing a full run there. All right. I'm just that good. Okay, good. So let's see. I moved well, like here-ish or like whatever. So I'm gonna do awareness check on you, Moth, since you failed. And I'm gonna start doing more moves on my on my end. <gasps> oh no, they still see you. God damn it. No, they they failed. Oh. I knew this bush it... strategy would work. And then the other one's looking and he failed too. So they they know generally you're in that direction, but they don't see you. I'm gonna do another full move in this direction. Okay. I'm just that good. I'm just that good. Dang. All right. And Aerocles, what are you doing at this time? I mean, I'm just enjoying a wonderful shit show. <laughs> 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 you literally like have a chair to watch the shit show from yeah yep. all right um another full move i can't exactly warn you because the moment i warn you they'll know where you are right another full move uh... i failed that one the luck has run out Anyone around me, they would have probably heard that. Let's 
see where you're at. So I moved somewhere from around yeah, here ish. I, yeah, I see you. Fantastic. Wow. All right. Operation Saving Brizora is a go. Okay, one more. Saving Private Brizora. And then. I mean, Virlo's um, fucked. Look at him. Virlo, yeah. Go ahead, do concealment, and then minus forty. Uh oh. And we're just gonna. I'm gonna do that at intervals. Come back and do concealment. <laughs> it's a shame our plan of distract the enemy led to more enemies spawning instead of the enemies that were already there distracted. I passed my previous silent move and I did not pass this silent move. Alright, sorry, I missed the last minute or two. What what happened? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, uh, no, I think you just got spotted, is the problem. Yep, I just found Brasori and I'm just getting spotted right now. Oh no! Virlo is. Getting spotted. Yeah, these are all for Virlo. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to. doing a comparison against his concealment here. I was gonna say, if anyone needs some, uh, some fate, I've got some to spare. Do you want to do a fate point and have them reroll? At a minus maybe, 10 disadvantage? Maybe Virlo can reroll, actually. Well, the problem is... He rolled uh, a 24, he's probably yeah. not going to get too much better than that. To be honest, yeah. I'm uh, going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then... 6, last one. Okay, those are the rolls. I'm going to bite the bullet here and uh, probably try and run away. I, mean, I could spend two fate point and have him reroll the two that succeeded. Oh, you can spend a fate point and have them all reroll. Oh, I'll do that. And that the, they'll, they'll, they'll roll at a minus 10 disadvantage this time. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, first one fails. Fails. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. One had to roll high. You can pay point and make him re-roll. <laughs> and the rest were all over 80. Are you kidding? <laughs> One of them was oh, even did, 98. Roll, yeah, yeah, he did roll a 5, so... Yeah. Most were all over 80 of the 5. The last one was 96, and the before that was 98. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a GM thing. Um, so he doesn't see you because the other one's kind of... Slap him upside the head, and they're still looking. <laughs> so they ignore the one guy that possibly found you. It's like, no, but guys, that bush is really shiny, but shut up. The bush it literally can... moved in front of me. Shut up, bushes don't move. Yeah, because they got, <laughs> the other one's got a 98 and a 96. So those two convince the guy that got <laughs> the, the near perfect that he's an idiot. <laughs> bushes oh, don't have legs, you moron. Oh, God. So, but you will take, they will get a modifier next time on the next roll set. So, so, so have I been spotted? No. Alright. So be, be, because they failed so bad, the other ones, they convinced the one that did spot you that he actually did not see you and that it's just a rock or something. <laughs> However, I'm letting you know, the next time they do a pass through, they're going to get a bonus of plus 10 against you. Well, I better uh, I better get the hell out of here because if they spot me before I run, 
then it's going to make running away that much harder. So uh, uh you you'll be you probably be dead. You probably be vaporized. What <laughs> if they point. spot me? There's three titans against around you. Plus three of those infantry. You fought the infantry before. You remember how tough they were? I actually don't remember. They're the ones with the impossible shields that we couldn't damage. Oh, yeah. And they can morph into one and make bigger versions of themselves. And now you've established that these bigger versions are the space marines encapsulated inside the Xenos. Um, can I, like, throw a grenade at one of them and then bolt? Or is that not how that works? The, the, they'll you probably... Can. Okay, if you're trying to stealth away, they'll notice you if you do that. Yeah, the grenade... You could rig a trap landmine kind of thing, so if they stumble up on it trying to find you after you get away... Well, yeah, up. my you thing so, is this. So far, they're you, going to spot you, me anyway, so... My idea is well, you, to just you ha you run haven't away. Heard any, you haven't heard any of us getting spotted yet, so like we're still trying to stealth this. So it's like up to. Also, you're in a very unfavorable situation right now. You could slip out. You could. I'm gonna try to slip the out. Undamaging grenade, by the way. The grenade does no damage. It just disables and halves the armor. Yeah, yeah, but it still would, uh, like, kind of impact them. It would still, like, notify them that something's happening. Is oh, it, yeah, absolutely. Here's, here's a big question. Is it permanent? Permanent? The yeah, will it thing? permanently affect them with that? Or is it temporary? I mean, it's temporary, but it's... It's for such a duration, it wouldn't matter to you guys in combat. So it's um, like a day or, day or two that, that this will be imposed on them. Mm -hmm. So for you guys, it might as well be infinite. And then during the combat, so it's per the com per combat session essentially. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I'm not going to throw the grenade. I'm just going to get up and bolt because I know they're going to spot me anyway. Uh, they might not spot you. They're still like wondering. If they spot you, you can always get up and run after stealth. Yeah, you still have the advantage of stealth right now. You I don't think you should be throwing it over right now. The 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 thing that I'm worried about, right, is that if they spot me before I start moving, then they're going to have the advantage. Whereas if I get up and run away now, then they're they'll spot me still, What's your but it'll be a surprise. So I can do let's see. I can do seventy eight if I run. So I can get, like, way right. out of there. So not out of weapons range. At all. Probably not. <laughs> and their giant weapons can probably smack you. So you'll probably be taking attack of opportunity if they spot you. Alright, well, I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and crawl away then. I want to Good crawl... Idea. I want to crawl this way. Maybe even between these two guys to try and get out of there. Fuck right. okay, it, if you're gonna stealth, just go through this guy's legs. I He's could. Gigantic, right? He is. Yeah. Gigant ginormous. Warhound Titan size. So yes, he He'll never look under him. Plus, plus, if one of the other guys slices at you, they have a chance to hit him instead. Alright, silent move. It's a win, win, lose. Modifier on silent move, Boko. If you're, go if you're going underneath his legs, it's gonna be a minus 60. If you're going past them, me a minus 40. Oh, he's got that crotch camera. God damn it. <laughs> we've, established, we've established they have cameras. It's a crotch camera. It has one eye. Or one lens. <laughs> <laughs> Always pointing one eye Willie. It dangles sometimes. <laughs> maybe. Maybe if he walks and it wiggles too much, <laughs> then I won't be spotted. <laughs> oh, God. And what is the other team doing? Go ahead and do your roll. Oh god, I'm so mature. All right. <laughs> uh, the other two who? It's gonna guys. be minus forty. Uh, okay, I'm so not going between. Um, I rolled a sudden move minus point five four, so minus five degrees of success. Are you going to get to Bissora? Nice. Go ahead, do that, and then where were you going, Virlo? Through the legs or past them? Around. Past. So you can go that. You can go that way. All right. And I'm sure you're half moving. So you can get more stealth, right? Is that you're doing? You're doing a full move. 
I mean, I don't think I can stealth and do a full move, can I? You can, it's just a uh, negative. Yeah, so you did. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out of there. Go ahead and do your movement, uh, Karnoth. I already did my movement. I got Super Soren. Uh, and I oh. had minus, minus, minus five degrees of success. Oh, okay. So I have to roll for their awareness here. Give me a second. Do you want me to give you a fate point for that? I have zero. I mean, up to you if you want to give it to me. Sure. Uh, the, I might not two, succeed. Uh, the two oh. that could have saw you, um, this is what the numbers they got. So you can reroll yours or force them to reroll. Well, he rolled a 96, so... Anything better than that, right? Or I wrote I mean, personally, I'm of the opinion that fuck it, we should just fight these guys, but then that's just death, so... Yeah, we would just die. <clears throat> mm, but then again, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate stealth missions. Here's the fate point, reroll. Alrighty, thank you. I beg you, Rome 20. I, I beg you, on my knees. That was not fucking. Oh <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Don't no fuck yourself. I don't think you begged enough. Uh, okay, so are you gonna fate point that, or are you gonna accept your fate of the entire army descending upon you at that point? Oh, oh god. god. I can hand you a fate, fate point. point. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Heracles' fate point for this one. All right. Let's see if we get uh, your second minus a hundred. Yeah, uh, okay. uh, well, that's better. Still, they still see me, so uh, it's okay. Would you like another fake point? <laughs> We're not gambling, right? <laughs> winners quit. I don't want to triple down. Uh, Double it winners quit it right the before guy. they spend their entire fake points. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um, I I think well, it would well, make gotta, little I sense. I gotta go soon, so you can spend any of your feelings you, you can, because they have fighter practice here. I like Fate point all oh, my... Oh, oh fuck, fuck it. Fine. I'm all, all right. in on fate points. Who's, who's <laughs> giving me this this I'll, point? I'll, I'll give you a fate point. point. It's me. Okay, it's me. Oh, okay, all right, you're doing it. All right, place your bets. Minus or positive? It's I think you're going to roll gonna 100 a 100 again. Or a 100. You're, you're doing uh, a positive. You're doing a positive. All right, uh... Hey, yeah, it was correct. It was positive. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get a bit more, guys. Just Wait, a more. not a whole number. It doesn't count. <laughs> we need right, one right. more. Take my last one. All right. Are you guys sure you want oh, to do this? Oh, yeah. There it is. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. So you got the Brasoro just fine. And those two over there in the distance don't spot you. All right, gambling pays off, kids. Sweet. <laughs> Here's a better question. Now what? Um. So <laughs> I. Okay. So then they have not spotted us. Uh. We can't. I don't know. Like, we could try do this uh, like a, a, an ambush type of thing where we just throw grenade. Like, and and I'm talking to her without using the comms. I'm just trying to get close to her. These like, are whispers. So that, yeah. So Whisper what we they could, left. We we could we could throw enough grenades to have their armor. No we can't, they left. They're gone. Look. Yes, but they walked away. Uh any uh, Virlo is still in trouble. From what I've It'll gathered, since he has some really uh, Yeah but sad decay. He's either dead or on his way here. If he were dead, we would have heard uh, screams of destruction, uh, screams and destruction. Uh, so I think he's still alive, and he needs our support. I mean, I'm pretty sure if they cut his head off, he couldn't make any screams. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> this is a ridiculous Don't act conversation. Don't with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm saying <laughs> we, 
we need to we need to ambush the ambushees right now by uh, hailing them with grenades and tr uh, trying to <laughs> undermine uh, 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 eliminate them before they can eliminate Virlo. You mean ambush the ambush? You want to fight? I guess they would still be ambushees. In the giant Titan Max that they're using. With it will have laser their, rifles. It will make them significantly weaker. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. <laughs> Don't talk back to me right now. <laughs> I'm assuming oh, you're just laying low until the patrol moves somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we're just laying low right now. Do you have any better ideas? <laughs> Nuke them from orbit and walk away, but, you know, that won't work because apparently they're impervious to that, too. That was not a better idea, thank you. <laughs> it's always the best idea. Just exterminate the planet and walk away. But if you you're doomed to exterminate us, we can't prove that. Who said that? <laughs> are, are you seeking if you have exterminatus bombs in your guys' fleet arsenal? Uh, it's no. Not do, anything to them anyway, mm, so. mm, do we mm. kill my entire kill team? Let's see. Do we have that option? No, we're not doing that. Miracle ladies can always teleport us out with the portal. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, it'll take me days to get out of this ship, so if I do that, I might just summon a black hole the moment you get through that portal to then kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See? Then we exterminate the planet, and it's fine. And then, we, and then we die to a black hole. That's it. Everyone dies. Yes, yes, but it's a black hole, so the planet dies to it, too. Yeah, See? everyone dies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everybody dies. Yeah. It's a win-win-win. A black hole will definitely get through their shields. <laughs> well, knowing how Boko DMs, no. How about... They have limitations. The shields have limitations. Okay. And exterminate they bomb. impervious to time dilation via black hole gravity? No. Well, then they're at least trapped there for a few centuries. But exterminate bomb would work on the planet, because you're not targeting them specifically, you're just targeting the planet, which would... Blow the planet Kill up. the planet's life, yeah. And, yeah. So, always an option. Um, the question is, do you have those bombs? And I imagine I'm your sure vessel... Sora would have requ prod. requested some. Oh, yeah. I'm that kind of person. Oh, yeah. Just in case. The only way to be sure... Um... She was in that room for hours doing paperwork saying, you're not going to use this unless you really mean it. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we send yeah. in Neil Tyson? That's what I've been um, debating because... <sighs> but he's just a dreadnought. These are like Titan-class enemies. He's Light a Titans, contemptor dreadnought is. and... The weapon set he has, like he has a he has a Volkite Culverin, like he can he can probably damage these guys, especially if he uses the uh, grenade to weaken their thing first. Yeah, yeah, like the grenades obviously sound like an enticing option, but we'll probably just damage them instead of killing them. We probably won't do enough to outright to disable them. Um. Wait, do we still have Vortex grenades? Or did we um, hand those over? You handed those over. Oh, yeah, we handed those over, right. Vortex <laughs> grenades would be pretty useful right now, wouldn't they? Yes. Uh, I. We cannot fight. We cannot... Like, we tried to distract. It didn't really work. They just summoned more forces to deal with us. The only option that seems like they have an advantage in an open field where they can use uh, vehicles and heavy heavy vehicle support in, in terms of in form of these titans. So we need to get some either a way out of here or in an enclosed space, aka like their base. 
where we can find on more even terms. Um, so, like, an option would be to try to sneak past them, get into the base, and, like, try to, I don't know, alarm. But, like, the, setting an alarm is also, like, a bad move because, like, uh, they, now they just know we're there and they'll just send a lot of forces. So it's a very, it's a very hard situation to get ourselves out of. It's a precarious situation. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know. We might want to uh, say that discretion is a better part of valor here and just disengage entirely until we figure out a different way to uh, approach this problem. <clears throat> if we can disengage first, yes. Right. Speaking of which, I sneak into this bush down here. I'm starting to leave. Because there's really nothing we can do here. Oh yeah! Right. High stealth, let's go! Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to stealth we go. Okay. So you guys are you guys are abandoning outwards? Or you two are at least? I am. I'm still laying where I am. Our weapons won't do shit, Lying. our grenades will only do shit to a small amount of people. Yeah. Well they'll do a lot of shit to a lot of people, but we can't fight how many Titans were there again now? Seven, eight? We can't fight that with small arms. Yeah. I'm still trying to sneak away from these fucks. Yeah, and, and I'm afraid you're going to be on your own there. Yeah. Yep. I'm just trying to get out of there at this point. Yep, you're good. Because <clears throat> of the two that could see you, that would be looking in that general direction, don't see you. Eventually, you see them walk away. I uh, remain. I I remain radio silent, and I disengage and break away from them. So once I'm a safe distance away. I'm going just to get to the entry point. Entry yeah, just point. Just get to the entry point. Yeah, like where yeah. we started, essentially. Yeah. You mean not the entry point in the base, but the entry point? Yeah, yeah, no, like where we came in point. at. Yeah. All right. Which was, I think, somewhere over here. Or maybe, like, yeah, whatever, here. whatever. Yeah. Yep. I'm there. <sighs> Right here. Karnam just kind of just waits, still like still radio silent, and then eventually he <laughs> starts going back. Following the We'll get him next time. So you guys gonna wait for extraction? You guys call it extraction? Yep. Yeah, do I don't think there's anything signal? we can. Yep. Because or the be set up a beacon. I think we cannot use radio signals. We need to use set up a beacon. Do we have a beacon? Can they track that too? Probably, if it's a it's transmitting a signal. Did we have a timed exfiltration? Yes. Alright then, we'll play cards until the exfiltration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go fish. Fuck. Pilots uh, ready into you, say so they're you're landing at the designated rendezvous point. Gunner just oh boy, they're the... about to get shot. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he, he just sits there with his arms crossed. It's kind of... mm. <laughs> He's not happy about what happened. We picked the assassination mission like a hundred years ago. We should have picked the orc mission. It would have been easy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few times I will agree with you. I'm. I mean, you do have that giant f off shark nonsense you guys can do against the base, and just say screw the base, right? Yeah, but well, then wouldn't wouldn't the shield? Except you've told me multiple times that the shields will make that thing basically meaningless. True. 
Yep. So, yeah, I could, but then we've wasted the amplification chamber, and then the shields are still not destroyed. <laughs> yep. Uh. <clears throat> Here's a question. What is that that amplification chamber? It can make your shark super big. Can it make anything else you do super big? Yeah. Yep. But I can only use one power. Okay. Idea. And it's a bad one. Teleport in a planet? <laughs> no. Yeah, sort of. I was going to say teleport the sun through your wormhole onto the planet. <laughs> it's not big enough. It's like, it's only no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> all you need to do is open the wormhole in the middle of the sun and then open the wormhole above their base. Rain solar plasma on their asses. Yeah. What's your but range? Would the shield block yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know if the... I don't think you have a couple it's, AUs of range on it's, you. Yeah, I don't think it's that big still. It's uh, a good it idea, but... 28 times... Uh, no, it would be... Uh, 2.8... Well, K is normally for meters, so... It would be like 20,000... 28,000 yeah. kilometers? Yeah, nowhere near enough to get to the... You can get to the moon, to the planet. You do that. Oh man! So we telefrag the that... moon into the planet. Just for for reference, like distance and away the like, gate from the itself would be yeah. A size one A of one AU is um uh one point five uh, million uh, meters. So a, a solar just like uh between the sun and the earth is one hundred and fifty million kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. You're it's not, one AU. You're not doing that. <sighs> And the gate itself would be 280 meters round. At a distance of 28,000 kilometers. Yep. Damn. <clears throat> so you do also have those bombs, Moth. Oh, wait, hold on. Another idea. Can you. You can open it above the base on the planet. You can also open it to the planet's core. Same it's thing, the, just different. It's, it's or not as deep. Or we can figure out where the shield generator is and teleport a bomb inside of it. And let's the thing is, is that these shields seem to block my psychic powers. That's ah, the reason yes. to get rid of the shields. But he can't block gravity. So if you just <laughs> if you open the portal under the base, under the ground, and it falls through. Uh, the average distance to the center of the Earth is about six and a half thousand kilometers. Yep, this yeah. isn't... This so, isn't sure, I could open a hole from where I currently am, which is this ship, and the center of the Earth. <laughs> uh, what, what's your... <laughs> what's, what's, what's your max distance again? 28,000 kilometers. Oh, yeah, you're talking about from the planet to the... Okay, yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're above a moon, but you're near a planet as well, obviously. Um... So you could... Wait, so you yeah, 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 you could reach the, the yep. center of the Earth, yeah? Yep. Again, the center of the Earth to the ship. Oh, yeah, right, it man. does open where he's at, so there is that problem. Yeah. Right, I forgot about that. Where, where I am to another destination. <laughs> so yes, if we want to absolutely make sure the ship is destroyed, <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are better ways to ensure it's destroyed. But <laughs> that's how we just want to end the campaign. Why is your power not more convenient? Damn. <laughs> hey, just uh, destroy the shields, and I can wipe out the entire station and the fleet. True, true. But you got to take out the shields. I'm wondering, can you prime an exterminatus bomb? Yeah, it's real easy. You just flip the on switch. As in, right. like, you have a, like a delayed fuse type of thing. You can launch it at the well, moon. You, you don't. You, you don't flip it at the moon. You, you don't flip the on switch. You call it in. Wait till it lands, and then you play Dance Dance Revolution on it until it's. Oh uh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you guys have a bomb on Moth's ship to do whatever you want with it. Because we don't really care about this planet, right? We just need to destroy the shield generator. I doubt the. Well, the Exterminos bomb would kill the entire base. The planet, right? Yep. How would that bomb work, specifically? Because they're all... Are there different. are different bombs, yeah. 
there's you bio are... weapons, there's other such things, there's maybe one that can destroy a planet. So you have a planet busting variant, the one your Inquisitor gotcha. gave you. Mm -hmm. So it would turn the planet into a molten surface. Wait, it would turn the planet surface molten? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because of the explosive. Okay, board. so it's going to do yeah. nothing to them then. So that's a waste of a sermon on spot. We've seen them immune to melt weapons. They're probably immune to lava. Hmm, perhaps. There's only one way to find out. <clears throat> but then again, like, we, we presume their shield generator will stop working. But, like, maybe it's, it's spherical. It will protect them from the quote-unquote un underground threats as well. We can also dig, d dig a tunnel, but it's like a very uh, up in the air whether, whether that will work or not. You also have drop pod insertion you guys can do, you can do various things. Yeah, you can definitely drop into the shield that'll insta-pop you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good advice there, Boko. Yeah. If I could if you're your voice in the head. God, these intrusive thoughts are getting worse. <laughs> 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 don't let the don't let the intrusive thoughts win, brother. It's just a warp, don't listen to it. <laughs> You're bureaucrats, we don't respect them. I mean what? Mm. What's that? that? Rock franchise. <laughs> So I guess we're in the dropship heading back to space. No, we're still playing cards. Uh, they radioed in. Oh. So you guys okay. are in the... Oh. They did, to you, yes. We gotta get there before the, uh... They get <laughs> jumped by Titans. Yeah. The I, I guess, so, so the moment they radio... Who do they radio specifically? I mean, the, on your squad channel. They radio squad. Me. Radio everyone, okay. Mm -hmm. And then he Wait. told us tele telepathically that they're Wait. here. Wait, can Heraclitus tell them not to radio us in? I I can. I can tell them not to radio. Yeah, he can. Hey, yeah. Don't radio them. Okay, so they don't radio <laughs> you guys as soon as they land. They <laughs> land at the designated time, so it's up in the air if you guys know that they landed there or not. But I mean, if it's the designated time and we're waiting there, then we would see them. Yeah. yeah. You see the Thunderhawk land? As predicted, uh, we go up to the Thunderhawk. Not using our radios, and we knock. <laughs> Very loudly. <laughs> funk, I mean, funk. I mean, the, they they saw you coming. They you know they let the gates the the doors down. They're looking right at you as they land, and they're waving you guys come in. Yeah, but they're idiot guardsmen. They could think we're infiltrators. Some bullshit like that. I don't know. Just make it <laughs> sure. Got it. Okay, so you guys are all aboard the mm -hmm. dropship now, heading back yeah. to the ship. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you guys are evaluating how to tackle this situation? Yes. Okay. AI is going to send down any re any recons on the base, or what are you guys going to be doing this time? Or next time, I should say. Um, getting mad that there's this stupid fuck-off force field that we can't do anything about? That's what I'm going to be doing. As far as you know, um... We probably need to increase our uh, stealth capabilities to do anything meaningful. Training so montage! We... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. So we probably need to go back to the Inquisitor forces and see if they have any anything that would help us. I sneak around the drop pod while we're in it, still holding that bush. <laughs> Well, there I <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna synthesize camo cloaks out of this bush. As far as I know, <laughs> you guys can add stealth coating to your armor. I think you guys already did that. Yeah, we like tarps and like. I camo added cloaks. stealthy boots that are quiet. Yeah, but uh, the camo cloaks are. Uh, I think they were like for. Uh, we had to re return them because they were like requisitioned items. They were rentals. Yeah. So you're seeing if you have anything stealth-wise to get inside. 
Yeah, yeah, quick, let's go find that stealth generator. Just install one in all of our power armor. Yep. Well, they tell you they don't, they don't have anything like that, so... Uh, That's a bold fucking lie, because our starship has one, so we can have one. No, 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 no. Ha! <laughs> the Inquisition tells you he has no none of that. Okay. That's Big different. Difference. Right. And that's that, I guess. Well, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll still. No, no. You also have your dreadnought as well. They can you can Inquisition. Yes, we can. All right, I not... paint Inquisition symbols on the dreadnought. <laughs> That's. A, I mean, uh, Neil Tyson. So you're asking him about. So he tells you there's a few things you can add to your guys's armor. This is specifically your armor: stealth coating, energy absorption layer, integrated cloaking system. Uh, but we don't have the materials for that. Per se, you have to develop that. Uh, enhanced mobile joints. So, basically, you can grease the wheels up. So you're no longer squeaking, right? Alright, time to start cooking bacon for the grease. Yeah, squeak, 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 because noise dampening material. Um, biometric camouflage. Environmental ceiling. Oh, you guys already have that, but you can enhance that. And then you can enhance your sensor suite. And based on the technology you guys have inter interfaced with, uh, Neil Tyson was able to do some adaptive fueling technology you can possibly integrate into you guys. Uh, integrated and also integrated grappling hooks. Sorry, what was that about the energy shields we can have? Let's do that. Personal void shields. Think about it. Well, he, he, t Neil Tyson says it's theoretically possible. It's not void shields per se. It's whatever he's. It's theoretically possible. It's not void shields per se. It's it's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I imagine there's like a squid yeah. talking. You're, well, you're supposed to be the interpreter of how your character would say that. So I'm t giving the information and gleaning on what he, what his thoughts are. You're you interpret. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, but is. but I like I like doing the bit where I repeat exactly what you say word for oh, word. Oh, okay. But yeah, <laughs> so theoretically possible to make some adaptive shielding technology it wouldn't be as good as your opponents there. Um, but it wouldn't be as good as our opponents here. So I'm all for it. That is true, well. Sister Brazora. He, he wouldn't it, it, he couldn't interface it with you. But all the space marines, he can. God you have to, you have to tap into their their reactors to do this. My suit's got a nuclear reactor too. Uh, technically, a storm you shield should. has a personal shield generator, which you could wield if it's trimmed down. This is the equivalent to what the enemies are using, so it it would negate damage incoming. Just straight up. Both melee and range. Hell yes. Do that. Very well. I will get started then. Minus 60 to make one. For techniques. And yeah, and it's a one in four chance for it to do that. Yeah, tech use minus 60, and it's a one in four chance for it to do that ability, that capability. Oh. oh. Then we got fate point. Actually, I'll use three out of four is instant death, or just nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> nothing. No, no, no. It just means the the shields don't do their job. They don't a act like their shields. All right. So there pretty much what the shields normally do. Mm-hmm. But slightly better. And it's going to take you a week each to craft one. So however long you want to spend doing this. Um. 
I would say let's make one for each uh, Space Marine then, and Brazora. But we don't have to make one for Eric Ladies. Yeah, because I'll oh, change shows in the way of suicide. Yeah, that's true. Well, we don't know how quickly they'll be able to get the shields and stuff back up once they take those shields down, so... I need to, we need to be able to take super advantage of uh, their situation the moment it happens. During the time it takes him to craft these, we're training stealth! Silent move and concealment, let's go! Okay. Rookatio will uh, aid in the training. And if it's, if it's not trained, you can bump it up trained. And if it is trained, you can do a plus 10%. During nice. the two, two cool. weeks of intense training. <laughs> and of, of the other technologies, uh, what else are you guys wanting to implement? Probably something to help our suit stealth a little better. Yes. So the integrated cloaking, it's, you can do it. You just don't know how much materials to do it. You could probably, possibly, make one. You have to roll to see if you have the materials first on that one. Okay, who's rolling? What are we rolling for? I mean, we can make it so that Virlo always succeeds. So, like, we it's, have utmost like, uh, confidence like, like in him. Predator. Yeah, yeah. So it's a 1d100. Uh, oh, I was going to put it on the, the Titan. That yeah. seems like a smart choice to put the Titan on. Still the generator titan. on it. You mean the Dreadnought? The Dreadnought? Yeah, sorry, the Dreadnought, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our... yeah I you don't, don't have... Before, I, I don't recommend the... against doing this. You don't have the materials for that. To make a generator okay. powerful enough to conceal the Dreadnought. If you're back in regular space, sure. You could probably uh, come up with the, material, the parts for that. To make it personal. No, we'll just knock local. over a few primitive worlds to steal all the resources. Problem solved. Sure. It's technological know how to get this thing. And his character would know how to do it. Um, it's just to see if you have the materials aboard your entire fleet plus your ship to do said Yeah, thing. let's not go with the personal stealth generator then for that guy. So, I mean. I'm can, standing like, right here, Brazora. It can. It's just. You're the one that said no! Is acquisition role? I have well, a name. No you to don't do just have to call me that guy. <laughs> am I really just that guy to you? Is that all I am to you? Yes. Yes. You okay. All are? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a one d one hundred. Anything above a twenty, you will have the materials within the fleet to to make this generator. And I'll be a plus twenty to one d one hundred, right? 1 to 100, anything over 20, you guys have the materials. Else, you don't. Okay, and then you were saying something about a plus 20. Plus 20 to stealth. And that that can go on any one of you guys. Um, you guys roll. Shit. Wait, no, Wait. that that fucked up. Oh, no, it, yeah, 1d1 there. space 0, 0 is what he rolled. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay, you don't have it. Ugh. Rats. I was like, what? Holy crap. 1d1, and then, oh, zero, zero. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, I fat-fingered, uh, the apostrophe key while I was typing that, apparently. <sighs> now, you do, you can make camouflage for your suits and add, like, a plus five modifier. For everybody? If that's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for everyone. That's for a concealment or silent move? I would assume... Concealment, yeah. alright. For silent move, you'll need an annoying stamping material. Is that the Kirby dance? Yeah. My name's too long, so we'll cut off half of Kirby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ugh, well, we'll uh, we could edit here, and everyone gets 2,000 XP. Mm-hmm. All right. Four XP, I can't spend. Yay! So you're just, uh, you're, yeah, you're stuck in that thing until this mission's done. <laughs> also, I, well, I can get out while they're making their stuff. Yeah, they could. Yeah. yeah, if you want to, stretch your legs and whatnot. Yeah, and then, you know, five, day, you know, five days out, put myself back in. <laughs> back in my coffin. 
We go out and back in, and then we go out and back in. Yes, that's how sex works. It's also how right. sea anemones work in Finding Nemo. Now let's see if they mess up pulling you out. Giggity. Oh, we haven't even rolled that? I thought we were back on the ship. No, 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 you guys are my guys. What do you mean dream. if they mess up pulling me out? It's not like we're in a rush. No. How much, how much XP did we get from that? 2,000. 2,000. Okay. No, it's not a rush. It's just very dangerous to pull you out. Going in, they can get you in, no problem. Uh, pulling you. I'm not going to do anything else. I may as well just stay in here then. Let's not risk them fucking up the whole device pulling me out. I'll well, just they, stay they, in. They succeeded. By or way. just like throw okay. you some like uh, corpse starch, like ship briskets or something to, yeah. to feed you every now and again. Because yeah. they have to get they have to get a um, 80, 80 or better. Does that make sense? So it's a very low chance, and then the fuck up. Oh, okay. And all that would happen is if they did mess up, it would, you know, discharge the device. I've got two fate points anyway, still so. In case they had fucked up, I could have just burned one. It's like, bro, again! Get above 80! Mm. Alright, so can we uh, level up and then, since we're having a downtime again? Yeah, I'm gonna say you can level up this time. Alright. Since this is, would be. The same mission, but new mission, since you're trying to get that one thing, so I'll allow leveling up to help you guys out. Okay. Because I wanted to make whatever, this, whatever the encounters were, would be pushing your guys to their limits. So. Yep, it certainly did. That's definitely the song playing in the montage in the background. It's the yep. eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Yeah, because you don't have armies to deal with this, the problem. Mm, you don't have much firepower to deal with the problem. Bow, bow, so you have to outsmart the situation. Bow, bow, bow. Though Exterminos is, is an option, apparently, right? Apparently. Well, it looks like he... Yeah, it's, it's always an option. Yeah, uh, yeah Yelma is just going super Exterminatus with the sharks. He just wants to kill. Hey, I mean, if you're telling me I can take out an entire alien fleet plus your target, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not a strong chance I'm going to be able to do it with just the one attack. I want to make sure I finish them. Mm -hmm. Infinite sharks! Infinite, Infinite giant sharks. sharks. Yep. Just a bunch of space megalodons coming in for the kill. Yeah, but what if you, uh,. What if you roll on the table and uh, end up summoning Salinesh? He instead? is rolling on the table. Yeah, I, I'll have to roll on the table, right. but I'm also pushing myself, which means I have to roll on the table. But every time <laughs> yeah. I roll on that table, I get a, a free reroll because I'm in tune with the warp. I'm like they, the warp's favorite boy. <laughs> um, but you still have to roll on the naughty naughty table, and so you're pushing pushing yourself. And if it's if it's a factor of 100, does that mean you're the the warp's favorite, 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 favorite? Yeah, I'm super favorite. Like, the, the warp's just going to love me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I'm dying. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's so what are, me. And then whatever happens, I get to amplify that by times 100. Yep. So nobody wants to be on board when it happens. Yep. <laughs> or even in I'm the same demon princes. sector. Deep. But then... Again, if wait, if you use wait, uh, do you just die? You don't explode the ship. Well, I mean, there's still the possibility that the ship's gonna like turn into a black hole. Even if you use the Rex's Furies, yeah. Yeah, like, regardless, <laughs> like there's so, still like, that chance. In that case, we need to have like a second ship to pick us up, where we're just stranded on that planet we descend upon. That's why you need to coordinate that with uh, the Inquisitor. So, yeah. so guys, you would have to roll for that every time you do the little, the, uh, or not, not every time, just the once. Yeah, because each one, each one is okay. Yeah, just roll the once, and then we'll see if you turn a black hole, kill yourself, or nothing happens, or it shuts down spectacularly. Right? You just kill yourself for nothing. That is so, also a possibility. So, we'll, when when if he rolls yeah, a but demon, yeah, I'll take the entire fleet. And, uh, <laughs> not even get the shutdown one. That would suck. Then it doesn't work. 
I mean, you yeah. do sharks in the general vicinity, I guess, in your room. So I'm saying, I still kill the fleet. Oh, yeah. I guess that's Yeah, like, true. this is the whole point of me killing myself, is to get that Righteous Fury nonsense off. So Otherwise, then no, it would be meaningless to do that. So if, if Yomug rolls uh, the Demon Prince on the table, does that mean we have to fight... Uh, one, demon one giant demon prince or like a hundred space demon marine prince. sized demon princes and then yeah, I roll you, a black hole you just summon Angron <laughs> <man. sighs> he's making an infinite loop so he could theoretically summon demons and kill them with the sharks he could he oh could. that's how we farm xp <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's why he. That's why. Then he created chaos his... god out into our realm, kill it <laughs> on my death throw. Not only have I slain a ship, I've slain a fleet. I've slain a god, saving, <laughs> or at least throwing chaos into chaos, giving the Imperium even more time to fight back against chaos. Yeah. What a the perfect way to die. Yeah. What, what a chaotic way to die. And an infinite loop. Yeah, he created an infinite. And loop. what's next? You're gonna take the Emperor's place on the Golden Throne. <laughs> No, he'd be dead. Whoa, be whoa, whoa, dead. whoa, whoa, with that heresy. Watch <laughs> it, watch it. He'd be long, long dead, and possibly creating a rift with his nonsense, so... Yeah, but it's so bad, like, even demons couldn't exist there. That's how badly I'd be fucking them up. Yeah, it'd be an infinite yeah. rift of summoning demons it's, and killing demons. It's nothing but a, a whole part of space for <laughs> space megalodons roam killing everything <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, and that'd be the second giant rift <laughs> in this universe that the players have created. The Eye of Terror? I made the gaping maw. Wink. You're right. So oh, that's I. Oh yeah, we have a second Eye of Terror. It still still technically I exists. Did that. You, uh, oh god. <laughs> but you you closed it, I believe. That was the end of that session. <laughs> uh, no, I, if I remember right, my character died trying to keep it from coming out so that everybody else could escape. Right. Oh, man. Fun, fun stuff. Very fun. Yep. Well, good luck on the next session. Now you know you have an Allah Akbar guy. I guess I need to start making a new character. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to back the, no. what is it, the, the copy. Yeah. Hey, Thomas, I want my next character to be an ogre who thinks he's a space marine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You can do that. <laughs> that would be fun. One of the Inquisitor's uh, like, uh, forces, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, because with stats, I can like make him the same as a space marine but, but since i'm an ogren i'll have the size of a space marine so i can take astartes weapons and still use astartes weaponry nice. but you just will not be trained in them yeah no no, no, yeah. no like i probably could you can probably find some shenanigan nonsense yeah you could you could you would be with the inquisition forces for the death watch no that no sense? i'm a death watch member you're gonna be a Death Watch. <laughs> <laughs> because the Death Watch has more than just Space Marines, you know, on their stuff. They got all the other people. I'm just one of those who happens to think they're also a Death Watch member. <laughs> all right. I'm just, so just, I'm just a it. big idiot yeah. ogre who thinks he's a Space Marine because I'm the same size as all the Space Marines. Yep. Hey, you're just as good as all the Space Marines. I'm just as tough. Can punch just as hard. Yep. Alright, I'll allow it. Nice. Are you also going to start throwing rocks at people? Yep, it's going to be a big rock though. It's going to take everything out in one hit. <laughs> Best part of Dark Tide. <laughs> Hell yeah. The rock. So, I, I, I just want to tell you guys something while you're all here. Um, mm. Uh oh. <laughs> no, it's not like that. So... However we end up ending our campaign, um, I want to be able to use Neil Tyson in combat first. And We're not ending the campaign. I don't think any of us said that. 
But just in, in eventually when it happens. Well, I, I was thinking like if we collapse into a black hole and everyone dies, wouldn't that be the end of the campaign? To be no. fair, the last Eye of Terror wasn't technically a black hole. It would not be the end of the end of the campaign per se, because remember this is the forever missions. So if you just make new characters and run new missions. Right. It'd be the end of the original squads. All characters of the original squad would be dead. All the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Cardoff, I think, is the original last one. Yep, yep. I'm the original last one. Yeah. Technically We got uh, that apothecary on another ship hundred years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> And technically, Neil Tyson is still alive, but yeah. Well, kind of. Kind of, technically. Hashtag yeah. the apothecary was a mistake. I'm not dead yet! Stop talking about me like I'm dead, I'm standing right here. Yeah, Ooh. Grandpa, now go back I'll to the chamber. I'll meet the ogre in an apothecary. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to see that happen, please. Yeah, my next character is going to be a salamander. Flamethrowers uh -huh. everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Again. All right. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. All right. All right. See you. All right. See, see you all next time. week.